Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games hosted by three very kind and knowledgeable boys. Thank you very much for joining us. You've got myself, Tommy Dasselow, sitting across from me. You've also got Ben Vanell. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. And rounding out the trio, it's Adam Knox. It's it's we're fine. It's video games night of nights. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. It's. Two nights after the Night of Nights, I guess. Yeah, yep. it's the uh, Boxing Day after Eve. Yes. <laughs> the box, you know that old that old traditional <laughs> Boxing Day after yeah. Eve? Yeah. You have your Boxing Day and then the next day you go, oh, I got to leave this fucking family. In that <laughs> people are trying to get a refund from this podcast because they got given it and they don't want it? Well, it's free, so you can have a refund. Here's <laughs> everything you've paid back. Yeah. Hey, uh, now this episode, uh, for our regular listeners who appreciate that steaming hot content, mm. hot, fresh off the presses. <laughs> right on their is... chests. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's is... easy to look at, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a day late uh, because... Because I just got back into the country this morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are going to talk about E3. We're also going to talk about a couple of things we've been playing lately. We've got a couple of things to catch up on. Uh, not to keep going on and on and on about it, but uh, I, as as well documented on this podcast, I'm a big fan of the Cane and Rinse podcast. Oh, yeah. Which I found on my flight home from Vietnam this morning. Not only is it informative and uh, great to listen to if you like games, it's also very good to sleep to. Oh, yeah. I, I put a few episodes. I, I think I went through – because I can't really sleep on a plane without something to listen to. Yeah. And, man, those dry British voices, just yeah. something about them, just really <laughs> soothing, yeah. sent me off into the slumber. Mm. You, you never have to worry about anyone making a joke or anyone getting too excited <laughs> on there. This is very calming and very pleasant to listen to. So Do you know, every time you say Kane and Rince, I think you're going to say Kane and Lynch. And when you say R, I'm like, oh, is he going to do, like, an offensive accent here? <laughs> Especially when I'm saying it. So I was flying back from Vietnam <laughs> where they have their own version of that po- uh, video game. Um, but, yeah, that, it was really weird because I, I slept for pretty much the entire flight, which I never do, but mm. I kind of – because I just had – it just went through all of them that I had downloaded. Oh, right. So it was kind of this weird thing where over eight hours I would kind of wake up for three minutes – and hear them talk yeah. about Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah. Then all of a sudden they're talking about sleeping dogs. That I think a bit of Tetris was in there. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah. It's like in uh, The Simpsons where Homer listens to the vocabulary tapes at yes. night. You're gonna wake up and be like, "Hello, boys. I know everything about uh, yeah. Conker's Bad Fur Day." Yeah. What if I start playing Tetris tonight and I'm just a fucking gun at it just from <laughs> yeah. having absorbed that podcast? <laughs> and do you want to hear about metal arms glitch in the system? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Leon and Darren and the gang. Yep. Um. Fuck it's good, especially that guy who sounds real chavvy. Yes. He's the best. Have we, I don't know. I think if it's Carl. I think it's Carl Moon. Yeah. 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 That oh, one so guy good. who's like, yeah, I remember saving up all me pennies for yeah. this, going down and putting down the deposit at me local GameStop. Yes. It's like, you stole those pennies, mate. <laughs> um, so, hey, oh, speaking of uh, Chav uh, voice acting, that's yes. something to bring up later on in a game that we're going to talk about. Oh, Do great. you know what I'm talking about? Were you, do you know what I'm talking I about? I don't know what you're no? talking okay, about. And well, I like a segue for something that's going to be in about 40 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's called Forward Sizzle, mate. Um, okay, so It's a great name for a game. So uh, today we're going to be wrapping up all the stuff that has happened uh, in E3. Last week we did our predictions episode. Uh, all the conferences have happened. The show is actually happening at the moment, so there's still kind of mm. bits and pieces filtering out. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go through all of that. Um, but first, we've got a couple of things that we've got to get to. Mm. Uh, uh, regular listeners will know that I have been voraciously jacking my little dick over a certain video game called Arms, uh, which is out. I believe by the time people are hearing this, it's out today or tomorrow. All oh, right, depending on where you are. Mm. But yeah. thanks to the fine folks at Nintendo, I got a copy of the game about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So I've been playing it, so I can actually do a proper review of a game yeah. on this podcast before the game has come out. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Holy (laughs) shit. We're now officially the mainstream media. How does that make you guys feel? Wow, wow. We have an actual (laughs) exclusive. This is good. I feel like, mate, I don't feel like it was given to me for any kind of like, you know, them thinking I'm some great journalist. I think it may have been given to just make me stop emailing them. I really think it was like a bit of a cease and desist. Like, (laughs) if we give him this, he'll fuck off and stop bombing our mailbox every day. they want to hold you at arm's length. Oh, Shit. I'm hitting stop, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. I, I can't, I, I have to say, in England they call it Barmy Arms. It's not a funny joke, but I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> so, I had to say it before just, I was able to participate. We're doing this whole episode in English accents. <laughs> <laughs> in Britain, they call it Cane and Ridge. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I got I got sent a review code for it like just after I had left uh, for overseas. Mm. So I've kind of been playing it. it. It's weird because this is like the first sort of official like Switch exclusive game from Nintendo. I yeah. guess like sure. Th- other than like one two Switch, I guess. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that doesn't that doesn't. We've count. all put that. I mean, out that of counts, yeah. but I wish it didn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's weird because it's it's sort of it, like you can't you know like anything you can play it on the go on mm. the Switch, but it really is designed to be in front of a TV. Uh, so I've been playing it in very much the way that it's not meant to be played. <laughs> yep. Uh, with Joy-Con with a little screen sitting on the end of a bed mm-hmm. in a hotel room. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I've put some time into uh, going through the Grand Prix mode with a lot of the characters. I haven't been able to get on the online yet because uh, right. I've read some early reviews where they they talk about the online and I don't know how they've done that because every right. time I got on, there was no one on it. We're an official video game <laughs> review <laughs> podcast now. <laughs> we got it beforehand and we couldn't figure out how to work it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, but like, yeah, I read reviews where people, I mean, I think yeah. there are enough people that got early copies that these people were able to play online. Maybe I, yeah. it was because the countries I, maybe it does yeah. it locally. So it's just totally. the countries It'd be like, I was yeah, in, no one an had an American it. server. And so those guys, would, yeah. yeah. I think a lot of up. reviewers as well, you know, they all get pre-release copies and all go, all right, at like seven, we're all reviewing yeah, this game. Sure. So yeah, let's right. all do this at seven. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to think where to begin. I, I really like it. I've, uh, I've, I've been interested in this game from the first time we saw it revealed in January. The art style is really great. The presentation is flawless. Mm. I do have some issues with it. Um, the big thing about it that I've seen mentioned a lot is the motion controls. I think that's the big thing that people are kind of holding out. You know, will they enjoy it? Will that yep. make the game more fun or will it be an impediment? And I've seen, I've seen a lot of reviews kind of talking about how the motion control doesn't work that well or it's, or it's imprecise and, you know, sometimes you miss shots or whatever because of the motion control. I don't actually think that's fair. I think the motion control works really great. I think what's hard about it is that it's hard to train yourself. Like, it... It, it's on you. Like you have right. to learn how to use it properly because as you know, motion controls can get as good as they want, but you can never replicate. Like if you have a stick, the stick is always going to go back to the center position of where you're using it. You know, yeah. it, it, whereas holding a thing in a physical space, if you're looking at a screen, sometimes your arms just tilt and you <laughs> don't realize it. You know? yeah. Toby did like, you know how sometimes your default position is like a T-Rex. <laughs> Yeah. Like sort of a fancy <laughs> butler T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but yeah, it, like I've seen a few, like I have seen a lot of reviews go, oh, sometimes you grab when you don't mean to grab. Yeah, yeah. And I... Th- <laughs> uh, look. <laughs> yes? Ed, that's my defence as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, every time that has happened to me, I've realised, oh, that was my fault. Yeah. Like that was me. And I'm not saying... That's not to say that that, that like that's still frustrating when that happens. Oh sure, but like if you if you go out on a tennis court and you you like keep hitting the ball off the edge of the racket, it's not the racket's fault. It's yeah. your fault. Yeah, totally. And it, it like it is I mean that still is a problem and that still does affect the gameplay. Yeah. I just wanted to bring it up because I think they deserve a bit more credit for getting the motion control to work as well as it does, mm. which it's kind of like now we're finally getting kind of what we were promised with the Wii right. all those years ago. Like, it does actually work really well. Um, so, for the most part, I've been playing it more in handheld mode, mm-hmm. which I I find, like, just as enjoyable. Yeah. In fact, like, I definitely find it more fun when you connect a punch or land a grab or whatever when you're using the motion controls. Mm. But then if I get up to a bit where... I really want that precision or, uh, you know, it's like I, as I'm getting deeper and deeper into the difficulties, sometimes I just go, okay, well, I have to switch over to the normal controller to have the degree of kind of, of precision, precision yeah. that I want here. Yep. And I don't feel like I don't feel like that's, you know, th- that I'm copping out or anything like that. Like I don't feel like that's – I actually think that's kind of a cool way to play it. Like hmm. I kind of like that you can hop back and forth between those two styles in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the two, the two things that I think are weird that I don't love about it, the Grand Prix mode, you play 10 matches where you just face off against all the other characters and they're all fights except for two. Like it makes you – two of those 10 will be – like one will be volleyball and one will be basketball. Right. Which I think is shitty. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a weird design and choice. And you, yeah. there's no choice. No, you just – I think your third match and your seventh match right. are a yeah, sport. Okay. 
huh. which I'm playing the Grand Prix. I just want to fight. Yeah. You know, those, those modes are cool, but they're in their own menu. Like, oh, I, yeah. if, if they chucked a battle mode halfway through a Mario Kart totally, Grand Prix, exactly. I'd be annoyed. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it would be like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that's a weird choice. The way that you unlock new arms for your character is also, I, I don't think has been done very well. Mm. You You get coins for doing online matches and for winning matches in the Grand Prix mm. and you then spend those coins to play a target shooting mini game. Oh, yeah, I've seen Where the better the that, score yeah. you get, you then unlock arms at random for the characters through that. Right. So you basically need 30 coins to play the game once mm-hmm. and if you finish a Grand Prix on easy, you'll get 28 coins. <laughs> so you right. can't even do it like fi- f- so for finishing it once on easy, yeah, you fuck. don't even get a crack yeah. at it once, yeah. which I and don't there's know. No, there's there's no like option in there to pay for those coins or anything, right? It's just no, no, you just no. earn them. And you do if you go up difficulties. Because that's the sort of design that those things tend to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. If you go up difficulties, you get more coins. And I think yeah. if you're playing online regularly, you'll also get more coins, yeah. which is probably – but I don't know. I just I, – I loved when Mario Kart 8 first came out on the Wii U. I loved the way it worked where – You'd finish a Grand Prix and you'd collect those coins on the track and then you'd unlock a character or you'd unlock the next cup or yep. you'd unlock a different part for your car. Yeah. I just wish it was that. I just yeah. wish that if you finished the if you finished it on a difficulty with the character, you just unlocked a bunch of shit for that character. Yep. Like I I yeah. The other thing is the like I've said, the design and the characters and the presentation is so great mm. and there's no kind of like story or anything like that in it yep. which i know it's a fighting game and that's kind of the trend for fighting games by and large and it's not like it ruins it for me i just think that's everything else everything the, the world is so cool that it's just a missed opportunity right like it's just a shame yeah. that there's not well that was gonna little cut scenes or like an illustrated thing to just set it up or 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 whatever it is. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, and it looks like they're coming at it and it was the team who did Mario Kart, so it looks yeah. it makes exactly, sense yeah. that they're just coming at it with like, no, here's the game, fuck you. Yeah. Well, but this but is my point, is that it's interesting that the team from Mario Kart and the two things that they've there's two things from Mario Kart where they've kind of switched. One thing they felt like they had to do differently and one thing that they felt like they're fine to keep the same and they've gotten it around the wrong way. Yeah, right. So there's no yeah, story okay. or anything in Mario Kart, nor does there need to be. Yeah. So they've gone That'd right. be well, fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. So they've Just do right. like a Fast and the Furious That would be great, thing. yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong, we've got to steal this great cart <laughs> off of Yoshi. Oh, but fuck, so they've clearly finished, awesome. they've just gone, okay, well, we'll do the same thing. But then they've gone, well, we've got to change the unlockable system. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. that was the one that you should keep. Yeah. Put a story in there and keep the unlockable thing the yeah, same. Right. So this is my biggest concern with that game, I guess. What's like the sort of amount of stuff you're getting in it? Like, is it, do you feel like it's a, it's a beefy kind of... Well, th- this is the... Yes. <laughs> this is the other thing. I've read a lot of early reviews have compared it to Splatoon in terms of like the amount of content it's launching sure. on day one, which Splatoon I think launched with about four guns and two levels and they very – they, they deliberately wanted out. people to get good at it and they rolled it out. Yeah, okay. This isn't like that at all. This is like ten characters. You unlock the arms and you can mix and match them and just kind of – even already like the, little, the few that I've unlocked kind of yeah. going, oh, I can put that on that character now. That's cool. Yeah. Um, the online mode is really good. Uh, there's, you know, there's all the little, there's like a, there's like a horde mode thing. So it's you versus a hundred opponents, yeah, kind cool. of one okay. by one. Yep. I, I, th- I think it's pretty robust. Like, yeah. it's getting mm. a lot of flack for being a bit empty on day one, and I just don't see it. That like, sounds like pretty normal fighting. Game I was gonna stuff. say, I mean, yeah, there's like the ten only characters and yeah. seven difficulties on each for the Grand Prix. I mean, yeah. and I'm up to, I just. I'm just about to. I'm on the last boss of the fourth difficulty on one character. Yeah, and it's really hard. Yeah. So, so the difference that I and I don't play a lot of fighting games, but the one difference that stands out is like, even like 15 years ago, you play a Tekken from back then. You start with eight characters, and by the end, you've unlocked 16 or, or even more. Yeah, like 20 years ago, that was about normal. Yeah. For, to have like 10 yep. people, roughly, like those original sort of Tekkens and Virtual Fighter type things, and sometimes I think like. Street Fighter 4 when it first came out had 12 or 13 yeah, characters. Yeah. Right. yeah. Like it's not uncommon and especially if each of them are particularly different like it seems well, like they I mean are this here. is the thing yeah. I mean I, and for me I I just the these characters are all I, I just they're so well designed mm. and they all feel different and it's one of the few things where I really have wanted to play through with all of the characters. Yeah, right. And I think I, you know I think it's a great that there's 
a lot of female, not only just a lot of female characters in it, but a lot of female characters that are really genuinely interesting characters mm. and aren't just like, oh, you know, again, 10 years ago it was like, oh, here's a babe in a bikini as yeah. one of the fighters. Well, the, yeah. If you played Dead or Alive, that's still the fucking thing. Totally, like, yeah. I was looking at the, yeah. the Xbox store thing the other day and it was like, hey, Dead or Alive's on sale. Also, you can get these fucking bikini packs for oh, $5 yeah. a piece, baby. Yeah. Look at all these tits moving around. Yeah, Jesus. Doesn't that make you go... <laughs> <laughs> but it do, it does really stand out. I think over the ten, four of them are females, and they're all they're all interesting and they're all different. Yeah. And I think that's kind of worth pointing out because you don't you don't particularly see that in these types of games. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Like I and I think there's enough in it. Um. And the fact that they've said that there's more coming for free, like I think is yeah. That's yeah. I, I'm interested to see what they roll out. I do know that I I'm pretty sure they're are at least another couple of unlockable characters in there mm. at some point. Uh, I yeah, I, I don't quite know. I haven't gotten far enough to, yeah. to progress. And work I mean, that gen- out. generally, if you like, if you get through a, a story mode once on normal, you get an extra character. That's yeah, generally the thing. Yeah, yeah. something. Well, yeah, yeah, there's a boss, but also here's the weird thing about this: I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, so <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm allowed to talk about. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it uh, uh, like I'm really into it. Um, I don't know. I, I totally understand people being on the fence. I like so far it's gotten. I think it's sitting on like a seventy eight or something average on Metacritic, yeah, which is about yeah. what I expected. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I like it. I mean, I, I've never been very good at fighting games. I've never been good at remembering like button combos and stuff mm. like that. And this just starting to get a bit of an idea of the skill and the strategy and, and all that stuff. It, it does feel really satisfying. Mm. And, the, you know, the other thing I realised, and th- this is the last thing I'll say about it because I've gone way too long about this <laughs> game already. The the thing with the motion controls and, you know, it kind of got touted as like, oh, this is like an upgrade of like Wii Sports Boxing. And so I think you initially you go into it and you want it to be like boxing. So you're trying to throw... Yep. Lots of quick jabs, yeah. which because the arms take so long to come out, it's kind of not that. Yeah. Professional boxers, you know, how they're always just going... <laughs> <laughs> but it does take a while to remind yourself it's like, oh, it's not a game where you just rush up to them and do yeah. like a flurry of punches. You Like, I think that's kind of... That was a hold up for me, at least when I started playing. It. Like up. I just wanted to go in and go <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That uh, makes sense. That's, a, that's something that I read was that like, yeah, when you play with the motion controls... It isn't one to one like a Wii boxing or like a fight night because what happens is you throw the punch with your hand yeah. and then the arm it's, springs yes, out so yes. it doesn't actually replicate yeah. that feeling. <laughs> you couldn't you'd have to like you need to have springy arms to play this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need to yeah. be able to punch but a long way. You got to like imagine well it doesn't really matter cuz most most of the people who complained about that just went oh, I played it with normal control. Yeah. At, at well some it's more point, like a shooting game where you're controlling yeah. the path of the bullet because yeah. it's like yeah. even with the pro controller you hold down the trigger and, yeah, that sends it out and then you're using the stick to yeah, right. curve. And there's a lot in, like, you know, sending one out on one side and forcing your opponent to the other side and then you hit yeah. them with the other side. But yep. then you're also leaving yourself open to being grabbed and yeah, the right. way you charge up punches and stuff. And, yeah, I, I, I really think there's a lot of depth to the gameplay. And, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I remember the reception to Splatoon uh, when it first came out being – being good but a little lukewarm, like mm. people going, oh, this seems cool but there's not much in it and now it's like yeah. it kind of took on a life of its own. I I, I wonder whether that's going to happen with this. But, mm. I, I mean, I, I really like – like I've, I've you know, I've – I've put in a lot of time uh, with it in spite of being on holidays. Like it's when I've gone back to my room to do something, it's like I've been excited because I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do a quick half hour of this like before yeah. I get changed and go out. So Sick. Um, good fighting yeah, game. D- little, little Nintendo spin. <laughs> Speaking of uh, fighting games. Yeah, what a, what a great uh, segue. In 40 minutes, we're going to talk about a fighting game. <laughs> um, yeah, Nox and I have both played through the entirety of the story of Injustice 2. And I think we both really, really liked it. Let's say our opinion at the same time. Three, two, one. Dogs right. shouldn't be allowed to vote. <laughs> <laughs> now, just because you said this to me the other day, Ben. Yeah. Can you reiterate the things specifically that you really like about Injustice 2? Uh, I don't remember what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> what <laughs> well, just did I say? think of them now. <laughs> uh, it's all of it's good and it's fun. Yeah. Um, I liked... Oh, okay. I th- it might have been this. I really liked the fact that it was a genuine story mode that you flowed from one fight to the next, a la Super Smash Bros. 
Brawl, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, that yeah, was yeah. sort of like that. I love yeah. that mode. Yeah, yeah. The, I. It's crazy that that never came back because yeah. I loved that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's and back, baby. It's basically this. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. well, this is what the Mortal Kombat games have been doing for a bit too. Right. And it's fucking really cool. The first yeah. Injustice did it as well, and it's just like this. Probably the best like f- filmish version of a DC story. Yeah, I mean, apart can... from like the Dark Knight, but yeah. Well, yeah, I, but I, that's kind of a separate thing in a weird way. Mm. Is like, the big short part of the DC universe? <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only good DC movie so far. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, DC, am it, I right? They're these, oh. they're these really good, uh, just like dumb comic booky ridiculous stories, but they yep. keep moving. Yeah, it just goes, and there's a couple of points during it where, like, because you're having to fight a certain amount to keep it engaging, that just like someone completely out of nowhere will walk up and be like, "Hey, fuck you," and you'll have <laughs> yeah. this dumb fight, and then they'll be like, "All right, I'm leaving." <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> well, you, you said to me, Ben, or maybe mm. you said it in our group chat, uh, Nintendo sixty nine. Yes. Uh, you, you said five things that you really loved about Injustice 2 and that made me go, okay, this guy is going to hate ARMS because oh, it's right. like all the things that you liked <laughs> are not present in ARMS. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because there's stuff like um, gear collection. There's yeah. there's so much unlockable there's stuff. There's a yeah. fuckload of that shit. Yeah. Like that, a daunting yeah. amount. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the customization of the characters is cool. I really liked that. Um, they all look yeah. quite good too. Like all the oh, costumes absolutely. are like silly enough to be fun but not enough where you're like – this is annoying. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. And those characters are already so dumb. DC has some of the shittest fucking ca- yeah. gorilla grod. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> gorilla grod is this big fucking gorilla who's got mind control powers. Yeah. yeah. And he just walks around being all gruff. And <laughs> like Brainiac it. is the villain. Oh, yeah. yeah. And not one of them, not even like the Flasher, whoever at one point goes, Wait, his name's Brainiac. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're all just like, oh, no, it's Brainiac. Yeah, they have, Ugh. like, the core characters, like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman are fantastic. Robin yeah. is great. Harley Quinn, the Joker. Like, these are some of the best characters in any medium of yeah. anything. And then everything else around <laughs> yeah. it is fucking shit. When they get stupid. Like, even Aquaman is just like, yeah, I'm the king of the deep. He's hard to take. You but there's put a ones shirt like, on Aquaman. <laughs> there's ones like Blue Beetle, Firestorm. Yeah. Basically just like guys in Iron Man suits, yeah. kind of. Right, right. Really bland. But they're really like... They're all characterized really well in this. Sur- like, that's surprisingly as silly well, yeah. as the ideas are. The characters themselves are really well done. All the voice acting and shit's good. The yeah. animation is incredible of the See, faces. It just makes oh, me, yeah. like, yeah, to go back to the thing with arms, like, it just is such a shame that there's not a little bit more, just that yeah. little extra effort. Yeah. Like, the one thing that is good, that is cool, is that before each match, there's a little, um, the little commentator. It's all text, but he gives a little kind oh, of. Oh yeah. Pre- Does he go like? Burp, 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 yeah, yeah. But yeah. his voice is really funny. Right. He does a little wrap up, and what's cool about it is that it's different for each opponent. It's different depending on who you're playing with. Yeah. yeah sure. So he kind of, you know, he, he kind of talks about their relationship. Like, there's certain people who he's like, "Oh, this person's actually a big fan. I hope they don't embarrass themselves and ask for an autograph after or whatever right, it is." Right. Right. Um. So that so that is different. A little but, bit of flavor. So that's mm. cool, but it's just it's just text, and it's like, yeah. totally. fuck, I like I'm now going through the Grand Prix for like the I don't know the sixth time or something. And it's still the gameplay is fun, but it's like, man, it would be cool if there was a different little story. Yeah, yeah. Where you kind of go, why they're doing it, and why they're in this Grand Prix, and what happens to them along the way, or whatever. That's yes. kind of exactly what this. Well, there's only the one story, but like, if you match up any of the characters as well, they'll have a little thing to say to each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be like, hey, pardon. <laughs> That's my get Harley. out of my swamp. <laughs> no, even- <laughs> Swamp Thing. Yeah. I forgot about it. They don't even give him a name. Oh. They're just like, oh, it's Swamp Thing. I thought that was a terrible Shrek impression. <laughs> um, it pretty much is. Yeah. yeah. But like, there, there is a bit of that in the story where it's like, um, yeah, they go into the swamp to follow the Scarecrow. And they're like, well, Swamp Thing's here. And he fights them. And at the end, he's like, well, now you've proved yourself worthy of the swamp. I won't <laughs> yeah. fight you anymore. Great. Yeah. Is it, a- wait, is, are we talking Swamp Man, the character from Con Air, the guy who flies the plane? <laughs> yes. Now that would be cool. Yeah, Jeff Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I was just thinking about as much as you, as much as I was sort of going, oh well, I guess it's arms is off the hook because it's not. I mean, that's not really a thing in fighting games. But even mm. Street in Street Fighter Two, you get a little you, you get a little bit of why they're all competing, don't you? There's um, like yeah, you get yeah. little bits. Is that pieces. in the game or is in, that in like four and five? You get more of that as well. And in the Tekken games, they've always had like the cutscenes at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sort of stuff. It's pretty. Co- at I'm least trying to, to remember, have does, like does Street Fighter Two explicitly tell you, or is that just like in the menu? Because I know like. 
you know, there's sort of things remember. like isn't like Chun Li is like under like an oh going yes. undercover or there's something. There's definitely and a story to it. I'm yeah. just, I don't. But I'm know I'm trying to where remember if it presented. tells you if it's just like because that game has been around for so long now. Yeah. That yeah. I think the stories of those characters are outside, and I imagine Nintendo will do that a bit with this. But it's also it's just a shame that they didn't go like you're introducing mm. us to this world. Like there's all this stuff on their Twitter about how these characters got these arms and how the powers oh, yeah, work. That's it's right. like yeah. great. Put this in the fucking game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, Injustice has... Uh, have you done the um, multiverse thing? I did a little bit of it, like the bit that it sort of makes you do when you start oh, yeah, it yeah. and then went like, I'm good for a bit. Okay. I, I really like that. So I, yeah. I did that after the story because I wanted to keep playing and the multiverse thing is like basically just arcade mode with challenges and also because it's multiverse, it's... It's versions of your opponents that are like that have the different costumes, yeah. the different gear, the different color schemes and stuff. So yeah, that was pretty cool. That's, uh, that's something oh, I really like. Multi, it. like lots of different ones. Yeah, yeah. like the oh. bread, like multi grain. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that's a really cool thing about the story is where like it picks up right after the first injustice, and Superman's a fuckwit in yeah. this world, and that's really cool. Yeah, it's done really well. Superman's a way more interesting character as a villain. Yeah, same with Wonder Woman. Is yeah, a yeah. In this, and uh, I, yeah, I really like the story. Having yeah. no attachment to DC stuff at all. Yeah, right. And I have a lot of attachment to it. And I've read like twenty of the DC runs in the past, you know, six months. I've yeah. really got into their comic kind of world. Yeah, and 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 considering that, really loved it as well. Yeah, <laughs> like from both on, angles. It's on still an great. unrelated note. I love that new samurai sword you've got on the wall here in the apartment. It's <laughs> really good. Really brings the room to life. Which which one are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, Nox is actually looking up at the wall. Yeah, that's called acting, this, mate. This hypothetical samurai you've sword. Gotta, you've got to be able to sell it to yourself <laughs> if you're going to sell it to anybody else. That's the first rule of acting. Very, for. very anyway, good. Any neckbeard tips you want from me, just I'm willing to throw them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. The multiverse thing seems good. I just like I played through the whole of the single play thing in like one go. Yeah. So when I went to do it, I was like, oh, I've had enough for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right. I, and I kind of um, like had a break and was like, I want to keep playing this game. But it's a cool idea yeah. and like all the uh, it gives you little challenges to do. So it's like you'll get a bonus bunch of money or whatever yep. if like you knock the person down five times. Yeah, or yeah. Whatever. Right. Use your special move three times. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that, it's that stuff, actually, like speaking of the actual mechanics, it's the most fun fighting game I've ever played. It's a really, really good one. It's yeah. like, it's easy to, like, everything's quite simple to... What's the system? Is it like... So com- it's... Like... Is it more like Street Fighter or more like Smash Brothers? It's like or? Mortal Kombat if you've ever played that, where it's but which is closer to Street Fighter, where it's yeah. like... it'll the, Most of the inputs are just like left, right, hit or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And yep. then it'll be... You can go further from there, and then there's like ten different things of like hit this button when you hit the ground, and you'll be able to jump up straight yeah. away. And there's oh, okay. a lot of shit to it, like a lot of depth, but yeah. you can get a lot out of it on a very simple level too, which is what I did. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's a lot of like basically punch, punch, punch combos, punch, kick combos, and then special moves, and that, that's yeah. basically all I use. Okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah really cool. liked it. And yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a go. It sounds it's, really, it's good. really yeah. fun. Uh, the multiplayer is good. Um, it looks fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really good looking game, and uh, yeah, if 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 you're into fighting games or comic books, it solves both of them problems. Yes, yeah, totally, absolutely. Um, I understand now why so many of our listeners who are clearly comic book fans ask us to talk about the Injustice game so much yeah. because if you're a comic book fan, they're Fucking great. Yeah. And yeah. also, you won't listen to this podcast again after Tommy's hurtful comments <laughs> about samurai swords. <laughs> That's unrelated, man. I was just complimenting him on his new wall art. Um, I want to just quickly say that I've played the Game of Thrones Telltale game, the first season. Oh, yeah. And you it love was. You fucking Telltale, don't you? I do. I've been really get- getting into most of them now. It's really good, but it's very frustrating in the same way that the show is, in that you can try really hard to make all the right calls and by the end of the season, most of your characters are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's cool though. I like that they've just gone for that. Yeah. and and That would be yeah. weirder if it was like you could <laughs> inspire a happy ending out of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that is true. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I've started playing through again to try and see if I can 
you know, change the outcome. Apparently you can't really. A lot of the time those games seem to just be like pretty tricky in the way that they make it seem like you have choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, hey, do you want to go to the bakery or not? No. Oh man, whoops, we're in the bakery yeah. and we yeah. tripped and fell into the bakery. I think that's yeah. what I've always been I'm over- hungry really as well. <laughs> I'm like a bread roll. <laughs> I've always been really cynical about games where that yeah, that that kind of claim to give you a great degree of choice. Yeah. yeah. Because I always just in the back of my head I go there's no way the <laughs> programming can work this intricately yeah. to really afford you, like, yeah. there to, for there to be fucking 10,000 different branches that you can end up with. No one yeah. has the hours to make something where you're not going to see 90% of the game. Yes, you yeah, know? Exactly. Like it's, yeah. And, it's, and with Telltale specifically, they generally bank on a second season. Yeah. So they've got to know these characters will be alive, these yeah. stories have yeah. been... Yeah. yeah. However, they do a really good job of making it. If you throw yourself into it and forget about that, yeah. of making it seem totally. like you're driving the ship. Absolutely. In the first playthrough, yeah. Did you really ever, satisfying. Did you ever read Choose Your Adventure books when oh, you were yeah. a kid? Did I ever read anything other than Choose Your Own Adventure <laughs> books? Is a better question. Oh, how the lo- riddle how many? of the deep. <laughs> how the many cave did, of the mighty swordsman. How many did it take for you to realize they were a fucking rot? I think everyone I had, <laughs> like I one. would, the first yeah. go through, I would fuck it and be dead within like two pages. Yeah. I yeah. think it was the Goosebumps one that I that I read oh, yeah. first there was like the secret of the clock mansion or something oh uh, yes <laughs> and it was like the classic secret of the clock mansion I remember so there's a, a big mansion clock. that's full of clocks or is it one mansion no. shaped no. like a giant clock just a very prominent clock on the top of the mansion <laughs> and it was like these kids went in to do like a scavenger hunt uh, find a big clock <laughs> <laughs> yeah there it is they didn't really need to go in that's yeah. what and it was a lot of stuff of like do you want to open this coffin turn to page 100 <laughs> Oh, Why would you open the coffin? <laughs> there's a vampire in the coffin. <laughs> You're done. Uh, <laughs> that always pissed me off about them is that you could – that oh, not piss me off, but like there were some of them where it was very arbitrary and just like, and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Open this door. Oh, there was a trap door and you're dead now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always found that there were it, – it annoyed me because there would be certain blocks where you could end up there from about five different – Oh, yeah. Areas, yeah. and sometimes there'd be a little detail in it where if you came to it from a certain point, you'd be like, "What? I don't have a fucking key." Yeah, what's this talking yeah. about? Yeah. So, um, I've also been playing a little video game. Yeah. Did you have another? I just wanted thing to there? say I played Doom, and I really, really loved. Oh it. man, Doom's it, yeah. fucking yeah. sick. I kind yeah. of we'll there's been a few PlayStation things that I've been wanting to play. Yeah. But because I knew I was. Going to go away for two weeks. I didn't want to get too invested in something before I went. Yeah. But now I'm back and I'm never going to go overseas again because <laughs> I've burnt my passport. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I think Doom and Persona. Yeah. Uh, if I can find a fucking physical copy of it anywhere. Oh, it's it's in stores now. Is I it saw back? it at JB the other day. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Um, but yeah, I'll just, I, there's not much to say about Doom. It's really good. Yeah. It's a re- very fun shooter. I guess we'll talk about this in the E3 bit. But, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. There's a, a Doom thing. And so, I've, speaking of Persona, been yeah. playing uh, Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing Persona. It's <laughs> fucking really good. I've just gone back into playing it some more because I got... Um, I yeah. just got distracted by, you know, a million other games. Well, and yeah. it's like a hundred hours long. Yeah. So there's no way that you're <laughs> going to be able to like, you have to treat it a bit like a TV show with seasons. Yes, totally. Because each, there's very separate sections mm. and each of them lasts about 10 hours or so. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's kind of cool in that way. So you yeah. stopped playing it for a bit. Yeah. Would you say that makes you persona non grat? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. You say that more than a lawyer or detective who uses that term. <laughs> it's No, it's not a legal term. Oh, it's, it's well, I guess be, it is a legal term, but it's, it's also... It's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> it should be an illegal term. Oh. <laughs> I was walking around yelling that at the Vietnamese. No one knew what I was on about. It's great to be back with people who understand me. <laughs> they spoke perfect English. They just didn't know why they you were bringing this up. They don't speak Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> real good. Fuck. Um, but yeah, no. In all seriousness, I'm glad. I yeah. Even yeah. though I knew, like, I could so easily have just gotten it on the eShop. I yeah. just, it's it's so much more expensive. And yeah. I just, yeah. Well, I don't know, I just avoid it as much as I can. You originally could only get it in like the metal case. Is that the one you have, Ben, as well? No, I got it online. Yeah, right, because yeah. I got the metal casing and it looks fucking good. I normally hate them, yeah, but right. it's like very predominantly red. Everything oh. about the way that game and every bit of presentation around it looks is so well done. Oh, absolutely. I, I've never seen it in motion, but I when it I turned up here, you'd been playing it, Ben, stupid. and I, saw, yeah. I, I basically just saw you... 
uh, enter the pause menu, yes. save your game and turn off the system. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, fuck, this looks cool. It's it so really crazy. Does, yeah. You go to just buy medicine and there's all these people doing flips on the menu and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like this woman just putting her legs and be like, what do you want? And then <laughs> you pick something and she fucking punches the screen and yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's so co- but it's not confusing as well. No. Somehow. It, yeah. It's really well done. All of the characters are really well acted. Yep. Uh, they're really well fleshed out. Um, each of the sort of so you go through and you're trying to change the hearts of uh, bad people yeah. basically so and it looks like it's going to be each of the sins because the first one's lust and then you got greed and so on right yeah. are you guys uh, are you playing it in can you play in Japanese with you can uh, if you want subtitles? to yeah I'm, I'm not I did yeah. I think you have to download it which I did and then I didn't figure out how to activate it but I'm just so playing you guys in are playing it with English dubbing yeah yeah it's not how I'll choose to do it. <laughs> I'll probably go for the authentic experience of listening to it in the original well, Japanese language oh, with hell. English text. Tommy, Tommy just that samurai sword on your back looks <laughs> great. <laughs> just a bit more nuanced, you know, and you sort of get a bit more of a flavour of what the game's actually meant to be like. But anyway, I'm sure you guys oh, are having fun the way The amount that Tommy too. is crossing and recrossing his legs <laughs> as he says this. I think I just clocked about eight in the space of one sentence. Uh, you can There's a couple of bits of dialogue that aren't subtitled, so I'd say, like, probably don't do that. What do you yeah. mean? Like, there's cut just in cutscenes and yeah. things, there's just no subtitles for bits, which also sucks if you're but deaf. That's because you. No, but that's because you're watching it in English, aren't you? No, nah, there are subtitles, but there are some things that people say that don't have English subtitles huh. with English voices yeah. as well. Hmm. It's d- not big things, just little bits of like people chattering in the background, but that adds so much to oh, yeah. the the feel of it. Like if yeah. it's raining, there's this one fucking dude at the school who every time it rains, he's like, oh shit, I forgot an umbrella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I love that dude. Yeah, <laughs> It's incredible how many um, different kinds of gameplay and kind of like interactions with the world there are in this game that are all done perfectly. It's crazy. Like the level of detail in like wandering around a shopping center. Yeah. But also the level of detail in the the like dungeons that you go through yeah. and the the kind of like idiosyncrasies that are written into all these things. It's just it's incredible, and, and it's, it's the it's fact sh- that it is like a hundred hours long as well. Yeah, it's so impressive, and it's never dull. And mm. like, it, it sounds it when you're like, and w- there's you'll spend a week just hanging out with people and studying. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. it's so good, and it's so chopped up that it should it shouldn't flow as well as it does yeah. either. But it really does. Like, you, it just sucks time away. Yeah, yeah, from you. Uh, but. In a, in a really good way I really like it And it's got that really cool thing Of like You know It's teenagers dealing with adult shit For the first time Through this like Supernatural lens To make it more easy to oh, deal cool. with yeah. yeah So I think if I was like 15, 16 And played this game It would have been my favourite I'd ever it's Oh yeah wow. And yeah. I really like it now It's it's very very good And I intend To spend Five full days of my life <laughs> <laughs> Playing it yeah. Well we said when we came in here That we were going to talk for at least 50 minutes Until we got to the reason That people are tuning into this episode <laughs> And by God we've done it oh, So yeah. now that we've fulfilled This self imposed criteria <laughs> For this week's episode How about we get into uh, The big stories of the week yeah. The Electronics Entertainment Expo Otherwise well, known as E3 here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's video games night and night. Here they are. All the stars are here. Let's take. Let's cast your minds back to Saturday, June the 10th, 2007. Oh, why am I doing this? This is annoying to me as well. I don't know. <laughs> we should pitch ourselves to be like the Joan Rivers of GameSpot. You know, <laughs> oh. we're just like lining the red carpet at E3, just like roasting game developers. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, man, so cool. Here's something about E3 this year that I think fucking sucks. Okay. They've allowed it to be open to the public. They've sold 15,000 tickets at hundreds of dollars a ticket. I have not read I, – I read that this – I think we talked about it when they yeah. announced that this yeah. was happening and I, you've just made me realise I haven't read anything about this yet because not I positive. thought it's – Yeah, exactly. Right. It yeah. sounded th- – because I remember journos writing things about – it's be ready to just wait in lines all day because yeah. even even with us being just us being there, yeah. it's too crowded and it takes yeah. fucking forever to see anything. So there's is, there's been a lot of stuff of people being like, I came here and stood in a line and then they told us to leave. Yeah, yeah fuck. Because it was too late uh, just to play fucking Call of Duty, which will be out in four months anyway. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. I never understand the I, like. No, I do understand the thing of being like, I really want to like if I could go and stand in line for four hours and play half an hour of Mario, I would do that tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
but I just think people. Yeah. I, I I just think it's kind of it's more irresponsible of them to be selling the tickets. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just Absolutely. And they didn't make head. it clear to people as well. Like apparently, a lot of people because it wasn't clear to people realize didn't realize that the uh, press conferences, which are kind of like the meat of it, yeah, because yeah. that's where all the announcements happen. Yeah, they you don't get to go to them. Weren't included. Close yeah. to the press. Yeah, yeah. because like, it's not like Comic Con where there are panels that you can yeah. go exactly. To. Yeah. yeah, because that's it. I think people like uh, of our generation. You grew up reading about E three in magazines and now seeing it online and, and I literally I, I picture myself going there and I picture myself just doing everything that I read IGN doing in yeah. one yeah. day where I've played 20 games that won't be out for another year and everyone's yeah. jealous of me and I get to do this for the first time and yeah I'm, I'm sitting there live blogging the fucking press conference from in the theatre but yeah. y- you literally would play like you'd play two games a day I it's, uh, if that and like it, it'll just mainly be people handing out shirts yeah yeah, you know? yeah. Anyway. I just went to just just as a quick deviation I just went to Universal Studios in Singapore where you pay to get in but then they've also got this thing where for a bit more you can pay you pay to just basically have a fast track ticket to oh, every Oh, definitely do that. So we, we did that. It was like another 50 bucks, but it basically means we only had four hours there and we didn't wait in line for more than about uh, maybe five minutes. That's oh, wow. And we would, awesome. walk pa- we would walk past <laughs> these lines and lines <laughs> and lines of people. Like, honestly, some of the rides we were at, the queue was two hours long. Yeah. Fuck. And we went, man, if we hadn't spent that – that fifty bucks, we would have gone on maybe two rides. We, yeah. we got we got to go on everything. And luckily, when people saw you walking to the front of the line, they were going, "Yeah, that makes sense. I get totally. it. Totally. He's and only got a couple of hours left." But you, just go, <laughs> <laughs> but you just go, "What a bummer!" Like to oh man, because yeah. still, even just the normal ticket is still not cheap. And I do wonder, you know, if if E three keep doing this, that could well be something that they do. Like it's yeah. this much to go, but then if you want yeah. priority access to the games, yeah, you got to pay this extra thing on top. Well, and the thing is, they already. Already have the thing that people were going to E3 thinking it would be, and that's PAX. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They totally. already have that thing where it's aimed at the general public. Yeah, become. the consumer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, so the first thing, this is technically before E3 started. Apparently, EA did mm. their bloody little uh, press conference there. We're so just we're going to go through chronologically yep. through all the press conferences yeah. now. Yeah. Like sands through the hourglass. These are the games of our lives. <laughs> uh, EA Madden. Yeah. Yeah. Madden with a story mode. Oh, yeah. 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 I can't remember. Yeah, I think Probably, it is. I think yeah. it's like the journey or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's the second one where you're you like, I think the play last one. football down a big, uh, a big sandy mountain like journey. Oh. You see what I've done there, oh. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. No, I think um, previously that you played as like a rookie getting into a college team, and now you're playing as that same guy getting into a NFL team, which right. is right. Cool. And that's the same for FIFA. Yeah, and yeah. Maybe the NBA one. I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Need for Speed Payback. I think that was sh- pretty good. Of. Yeah, they showed a trailer, and it was like. Exactly what the fuck you'd think it'd be. Yeah. Car driving fast, couple of cops, another car, a big, big old expensive looking car drives out the back of a truck. Yeah. Yep. Fast and furious. Yep. Yeah. Uh, something called A Way Out. I don't remember what that was. Oh, that was a co op uh, prison break game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. looked sick. Yeah, that, that does look good. cool. Yeah. 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 I think and that was, was a bit of a surprise for everyone. Like, yeah, that, yeah. Local, really into that. local split screen only, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Said, I think. Uh, that looked fucking great, actually. No, I think it's online. No, I think it was really? just split screen. I remember. Huh. Okay. Seeing the guy say that, so that's why I know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I can't argue with that. And I, it, um, that looked really cool, actually. I, I, I would w- prefer that if you could play it with a CPU teammate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would prefer to not have to always play it in co-op. I think it's a kind of bold yeah. assumption about how people play games now. Yeah. Like like that Zelda game that came out a few years ago, the Triforce Heroes, that yeah. you could play by yourself. But yeah, that's right. by all accounts, it was like, uh, it just feels like you're playing a bit of an empty... Like, it is fun getting three of you together and finishing this adventure. But realistically, how many people are yeah. there that that kind of works for their, yeah. For their, their life? Their schedules, yeah. yeah. You could play it with your jock and nerd girlfriend. I, gu- I guess so. Yeah. Each of you respectively, not that you, you <laughs> no one swap. is a jock and a nerd. <laughs> Let's swap and see who finishes it first. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll really be able breaking out of the bloody doghouse they'll put you in, uh, won't you? Mate? Real ball and chain, mate. Persona hey, non doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then they didn't show it here, I don't think, or they showed like a tiny bit of it, but they sort of announced Anthem. Ah, yes. Which is, uh, it, they showed it more than Microsoft. I think, thing. Yeah, yeah, they kind of, yeah. 
But so we might as well talk about it now. Like that's the new Bioware thing. Yep. Um, it's basically Bioware's Destiny. Yeah, yeah. with like a cool jetpack yep. that looked fun where you fly around. Well, so okay, th- this was sort of is this kind of meant to be one of the big things for the new Xbox? Uh, it's every everything. Yeah, it's multi platform. Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. So um, a when lot we get to the Microsoft one, yeah. the majority of them will be. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And they I, certainly did not position them as if they were on the PS4 as well, no. but most of them are. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I this, you know, the day this got announced, a lot of talk on the internet, people really into it. I, yeah. I just, it looks, I don't know, and this will be a recurring thing for me over the course of a lot of this presentation. It just looks like a just a mix of stuff we've seen mm. yeah. before. I, I um, it, This won't be a recurring theme for me because I liked a lot of stuff, but... For this specifically, I thought it looked really bland and it I wasn't really into it. like an auto-generated video game. It yeah, looked like really. someone's, okay, Google, design a video game. Yeah, yeah. it's like the start yeah. of it where he's walking through the marketplace, she's walking through the marketplace, yeah. Yeah. and then going out into the world. And I was like, and, and yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Like, it does look amazing visually. But then even them landing and the and the dialogue where they're kind of there's you know some light kind of quipping back yeah. and forth. Well, it that, just seemed like that was actors pretending to be players. That wasn't oh, the characters that's not in the in game. game? Yeah, oh, okay, no. right. That was the same oh, as right. like Ubisoft always does with like the division and shit, where they're like, ah, uh, yeah, we right. hire actors to pretend like they're friends on so the. They're yeah. playing a okay. multiplayer. So that yeah. won't be that's in the game. why that's that seemed so lame, and I think that did drag it down, and it always fucking does. They yeah. did it with like the Ghost Recon trailer last Intr- year. Okay, yeah, that's like, interesting. Hey man, move around the back. We got to get it. He's in a white van. Go go go. Which yeah. is how nobody ever <laughs> talks. Yeah. And in this, it was yeah, like oh wow, hey, I got the upgraded jetpack. Hey, time for me. Let's see what's over here. It's like, all right, let's look up a guide for what to do now. Well, yeah. It also just seemed like a you're bad, playing it wrong. <laughs> it just seemed like a kind of a bad rip of like, oh, people really like it in Uncharted when Sally's a bit of a smart ass to Nathan Drake. <laughs> yeah. Which even that writing, I don't think, is very yeah. good. Like it was yeah. kind of a facsimile of like an already kind of not amazing thing. Yeah. yeah. So luckily, that wasn't actually okay <laughs> in yeah. the game. So that so is it? I guess it's it's the w- division open, destiny open world yeah. kind of okay. Yeah. I I don't really care. I it yeah. seems, seems to have excited a lot of people, I think, just because yeah. no one – it came out of nowhere. But, I yeah. I mean, personally, it doesn't look that fresh or interesting to me. I'm yeah. in the same boat. Pe- people fucking love Destiny and they love that um, structure, like that gameplay style. And the Division now as well. Yeah, totally, where yeah. it's like a hub and a bunch of like places you go to do missions in this open world. Yeah. It's all co-op. It's all gear and, and loot and unlockables. and. So if you're into that you style know, already, you're probably into it, but it, yeah. this doesn't look like it's going to cap. This doesn't look like – you know, every now and then with these genres, there's like – the new one yeah. that kind of brings people in. Sure. I think Overwatch has kind of done that yeah. for the style of game that it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, but th- this doesn't seem like this will be its version of this for this no, type of game. No, I agree with that. I this think Destiny f- probably was. Yeah. For, for this will be like a game that Ben Russell gets obsessed with yes. for six months. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, like, afterwards, he says, I had to sell it. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate myself. <laughs> we got to get him back in here yeah, and yeah. find out what, yeah. what his current <laughs> crack habit is. Yes. Uh, then FIFA, then yep. Star Wars Battlefield. Front two, they um, had a bit um, of stuff on. Yeah, it looks great. I'm, Lo- I'm, yeah, it I'm looks like really it, yeah. great. I'm not even a big Star Wars yeah. head, but it, it yeah, it looks really, really good. A really yeah. sort of known quantity. Yeah, but that's fine because sure. But uh, and I guess they've also in the beneficial position of you make a sequel. You people kind of people liked the first one enough, but there were some pretty glaring omissions in yeah. it. So yeah. then all you do is just address, like, do the same thing again, make it as fun but just address the thing that was left out yeah. Yeah. and people go, oh, my fucking, this is the best. Yeah, yeah. It, And it is exactly that. I'm interested to see what the uh Because single, single player, player was the big like. thing that no one, that yes. it wasn't in the first one that people were shitty about. So. Yeah. And they're doing what looks like an interesting story. Uh, then they showed a bit of uh, the expansion for Battlefield 1, Snow. Yep. There you go. NBA. So that's EA. Nothing Wait, that. Wait, but they, this, they announced... FIFA for Switch in this as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and it's still unclear to me Which, exactly. I think there's two versions, right? Is there two versions? It, it seems like this has. Switch? No, I think the Switch version is basically the same, but with a couple of modes removed and stuff. Yeah. I, uh, because there yeah. was. I remember there was. We were, well, we were talking last episode, the speculation was yeah. will it be a very dumb down, like big head, cartoony yeah. kind of version of it? And it seems like they've 
try they've they've gotten as close as they possibly yeah. can on that hardware. Yeah, it seems to like the they've landed thing. somewhere in the middle between Cause, so dumb what, big heads. What I, I I must just not have read enough about it because I thought it was like EA Play Sports FIFA for Switch version yeah. was like the announcement like before E3. It and is, then at E3 they were like, oh, here's FIFA 18. But it, it is definitely not the exact same version as right. on the PS4 and so on. Okay. And the Xbox, it's it's a little bit hampered from the looks of it, but not enough that you'd be mad if you bought it. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it literally is just how much of this can we fit yeah. on this Scaled down hardware, yeah, right. which I think is I think is a good move. Like yeah. I, that's what a lot of people were worried about. People who own a Switch that like FIFA that they were just going to get some absolutely yeah boring watered down version of it. Which it seems like they're yeah they're to be credited for getting for getting it as close as they can. Which yeah. I don't know will will it sell on the Switch? Like it, uh, who knows if it's even mm. worth them making the effort? Like I yeah, I, I reckon real FIFA. I mean yeah. I guess the selling point is that you can take it with you and play portable, so it's yeah. probably worth their while just to. To service that, but yeah. yeah. But anyway, I think that's I think that's a better announcement than I think what a lot of people were expecting. Yeah. In regards oh, to Oh, they'd FIFA. have gotten torn apart if they were like, and it's FIFA kids. Yeah. yeah. Mario Here's FIFA. Ronaldinho yeah. as a little boy. <laughs> Ronaldinho. <laughs> there is one called Ronaldinho. <laughs> Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, Ronald. Dinio. <laughs> Ronald. Dinio. <laughs> Baby Pele. <laughs> uh, so then uh, Microsoft was the next day. Oh, yes. here we go. So this was our biggest one from last week where the, the, the biggest kind of unknown quantity of, yeah. uh, of E3 2017. Uh, what's the new Xbox going to be? What are they going to have to show off on it? Yeah. And I remember saying it'll be interesting if they get it right or fuck it up. Yeah. yeah. Somehow <laughs> <laughs> they managed to make it completely uninteresting. Yeah. So it, the X... Okay, so let's go through this. Uh, so the, the X in Xbox, the, what does that stand for? The it Xbox stands for Xylophone <laughs> Box. Ah, nice. <laughs> the Xbox One X. Yeah. yeah. Terrible... Terrible name. I'm, I'm looking yeah. at it written down here. And right out the gate. It looks like, like an emo girl's MySpace username. Totally. Hello, I'm Box One, and then it's got X's at either side. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, it, you know, so the, I, the big problem with the Wii U was that people mm. thought people were like, oh, is this just an upgrade? Which this is. Yeah. yeah. Like it's using the same kind of naming format. Yeah. So it is. So it, but it, but even then, it still sounds terrible. Like it's not <laughs> yeah. misleading, and but it just is yeah. sounds shit. Hello, yeah. welcome to EB Games. Would you like to purchase an Xbox One X or an Xbox One S? Which would yeah, you like? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's sorry. Well, uh, it's like going to be some fucking parrot sketch. <laughs> I mean, I know they four did. candles <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I know they can't do the same thing because Sony got in first, but PS4 Pro. There you go. Like yeah. it's still got the same. It's yeah. still got the same name of the hardware in it. It's obvious what it is just from the title. Just yeah. call it the fucking yeah, the, Xbox Platinum or the something. Xbox One Plus. Yeah. Just like copy yeah. what they've done to but be, use a different word. Yeah. To be fair to them, Xbox no. One. <laughs> Xbox One was already such a silly name. True. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. That what are you going to do with it? Xbox yeah. One Two. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Yeah. I don't quite. And again. I, I know it's probably not a wise idea to just go and do the same thing as your competitor, but, you know, you have the Xbox and then you're going to do a second one. There's no shame in just copying what Sony have yeah. done and going, the Xbox 2, yeah. um, that's but, fine, yeah. we'll just yeah. copy the, their numbering system. Yeah. That, that's the most clean way <laughs> then, to do it. The, here is the Xbox 2, the fourth Xbox. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you just fucked either no, no, way. No, no, but yeah. I mean, before they – like, instead of calling it the 360 – Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just start it yeah. there and go. Oh, the 360 then, itself is a terrible name. But yeah. then they'd be one behind because the True, Xbox yeah. 2 would yeah. have been with the PS3. And yeah. I can see. I, I, Scorpio was a better name. Totally. totally. If they started giving them like cool. Thunderbolt, like, yeah. that'd be sweet. Like but then Apple I operating system. The problem system. there yeah. is that then, if it's a whole new name, then consumer wise, it must be such yeah. a hard thing to plan these things because you've always in the back of your mind got to have the auntie. That's in Target. It's yeah. yeah. getting the Christmas present that doesn't know shit about shit. Yeah. And how are you making sure she doesn't end up with a fucking well, toaster? Well, they've not done she's a good walk, job here. She's going to walk in either way and go, hey, give me that Xbox. Mm. Yeah. She uh, sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to wiggle on in. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like it's more powerful. It's the exact same thing as a PS4 Pro. It'll do yeah. like 4K and 60 frames in yep. most things and whatever. the notable difference that in this country at least it is setting you back a cool – Six hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, six fifty. Hey, yeah. Well, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's not chances of buying that. It's so expensive. It's, it's so so expensive. It's like people are like, oh, yeah. it's got a UHD, like a four K, you know, disc player. Who cares? If you're in the market 
for one of them, you already have a 4K TV. If you already have a 4K TV, you're swimming in it. Yeah, exactly. So it yeah. kind of makes sense to to do this thing where it's like, hey, you got the money, fucking give it up. Yeah, but how? Like that's not going to ship a lot of units. No. Yeah. Like, I think I'd- it's kind of cool that it's the smallest one. Yeah. It's the smallest yeah. Xbox. So I still far. think it just comes just down to if you care that much. You you go on PC. That's, yeah. I've said that every time we've, <laughs> yeah. we've and because this up, every Microsoft game comes out on Windows 10 as well. Totally, yeah. it's just insane it's, to me. It's a really, 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 really cool game machine. No, it <laughs> yeah. isn't. No. It's really weird yeah. and and silly. It, and it just seems to me like you know the. the I'm I'm biased one way, but there, there does seem to be a bit of an anti Nintendo bias where they announced the Switch at whatever it was, four fifty, yeah. and people go, "Fucking hell, that's really expensive." I haven't heard anyone make the same kind of noise about this thing being six hundred and fifty oh, goddamn dollars. I have read a lot of people saying, "Oh, that. really? Yeah." yeah. Okay. And I think yeah. it's maybe also those sites are blocked in Vietnam. <laughs> <or> <laughs> yeah. I think there was more noise about the Nintendo thing because people wanted to buy a Nintendo console too. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that's and to be fair, that was like that that was a huge. Leap for them. Yeah. For them, it yeah. was very expensive. Yeah. And like, what are people going to ignore the Xbox twice as hard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So six fifty though. I mean, it's fuck, a lot of fucking that's money. A lot yeah. of money. Yeah. yeah. I bet that shit looks real good though. Yeah. I bet it looks nice. But this is the thing. I mean, I, I haven't really studied the specs because now what's PS? What's the PS4 Pro? There are they five or five fifty? Uh, I think. <sighs> They, you can get them for under five on deals and shit. When I was going to buy my PS4, I was looking around. Right, you yeah. can get them for under five. You can get them for like the, about the same as a Switch. Yeah, and right. When you, and yeah, I mean, when you're really stacking them up side by side, you need a 4K TV for both. I mean, mm. how much difference and are it, you really getting? And yeah. also, it could do a bit of difference on a like a normal HD TV apparently because it renders it higher and then brings oh, yeah. it back down, and it looks a little smoother. But and it'll do some things at like sixty frames per second rather than thirty, which well, yeah. the is kind of cool. You're paying to get a PS4 Pro. You're paying one hundred and fifty or whatever less yeah. to have a thing that's actually got games on it that you want to play. Yeah. Well, that's like, this the is thing. the problem. Who gives a fuck how good the processing is? Yeah, I mean, I, you're not playing anything on it. I just find it very hard to believe that anyone who already owns an Xbox One or a PS4, like I don't. I'm not going to get a PS4 Pro and I really like the PS4. Yeah. Like, I don't understand anyone who's shelling out even $500 more for a slightly better console. I, I understand yeah. that feeling uh, on the level of just, I want to have the new cool thing. Yeah, yeah. totally. But it on a practical level, that no, yeah. yeah. But no in an industry yeah. where you need to be sell, you know, it's all about volume and well, you need to be selling the most, you yeah, can't just go, stuff, oh, yeah. we'll just make this for fucking the eight people who yeah. really, really want it and have the disposable income. And yeah. so here's the thing I hadn't really thought about, but we'll skip ahead to one yeah, of the games personal here. personal <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Destiny uh. 2... Uh, <laughs> On the PC is, I, I and I, I think bo- both you guys aren't real big into like sixty frames versus thirty. Sort no, of I stuff. don't give a fuck at all. I don't tend to either. A lot of people seem to though. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I will say I, I, well, I do notice it big time. Yeah. When and when I read that something is that I'm interested in is running at a smooth sixty, I go fuck it. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. And it helps with like Doom. You notice it like it's right. it's cool. But so. I'm the same way though. It I can take it or leave it. I yeah. don't really care. It's not the most important thing. But there are a lot of people who do care about it. Yeah. Clearly, and that's who this is for. And so here's a thing that I hadn't thought about: Destiny Two on the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. It, it on the PC it's running at sixty, but on those it's running at thirty because you have to play multiplayer with people who have potentially just a normal PS4 or a normal oh, Xbox One. Right. So right. you can't have your frame rate be quicker than theirs because then you've got like this advantage over them. Right. So even if you do get this and it could definitely run the game better yeah. than it is, yeah. it won't because it has to maintain parity with people who right. have yeah, those. Yeah, it's technically the same generation. So yeah. you're trapped. Yeah. So, yeah. so at, on that level as well, it's, it's a waste of money. Doubly yeah. Yeah. W- less important. I do, like I will say... I had uh, the couple of times I've had people over and we've played Mario Kart on the Switch, and you when you go into four player split yeah. screen, mm. the frame rate drops noticeably. Yes, and then anytime that when that's happened, and then people have left, 
and I'm on my own and I have a quick single player race <laughs> before bed. I go, thank fuck everyone's gone. <laughs> it's like now we've risen back above and we're yeah, right. back to a sweet 60 frames. <laughs> it does you do a- notice it when you go from one – like yeah. Zelda, when you're playing it, you just get used to it. Yeah. But then anytime you turn something else on, it's like, oh, right. It tends to depend on the sort of game as well. Totally. Like mm. I didn't really give a shit about The Witcher kind of – I was running that at a, like a lock 30 thing because it, I preferred that to go an up and down. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. It's all, it's all, so it's nice, but it's not it's, important. It's not our, it's not our wheelhouse. It's very hardcore. It's yeah. not very casual. So they announced this and they, uh, high price point and then what do they got? What do they got to back it up with games wise? Well, so then they came out and they said, and now the rest of the conference, we got 42 games or something like that. Yeah. Here we go. Now, Bring every out the game, cars. <laughs> every, yeah, they literally, they lifted up, they rotated a part of the stage and they kept, they here's the Porsche 911. Yep. The Lightning the McQueen Porsche. VR experience. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Porsche. You have to say Porsche. Do Porsche. you? Apparently. Apparently that's how you correctly pronounce Porsche. Oh, really? Porsche. Porsche de Rossi's name. Yeah. Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so every game, I think almost yeah no, I think literally every game I'm going to mention in the in this whole bit yeah <laughs> and what a bit it is yes <laughs> is going to be released on at minimum the PC as well yeah right yeah so fuck yeah uh, Forza Motorsport Seven. That's a car driving game. Yep. Those ones are good ones. Yeah, they're really popular as well. Yeah. Like that's, yep. Yep. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Sure. So they showed that. It's but that's on everything. Egypt, it's on everything. Yep. Uh, I thought that looked, they were like, okay, we've gone back to the drawing board. Here's yeah. Assassin's Creed, baby. We're starting again. Yeah, we took two years off. The camera angle is slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let me, wait, let me ask you this. I, I never quite get how this works where, what are the deals they strike if this is coming out to everything? Yeah. Why do why they get to have there? it in their presentation? Uh, they got all weird partnerships and shit. Like yeah. people want the big Xbox. But people still watch it, you know. So yeah, okay. Ubisoft will come to you and be like, I am talking out of my ass with this as well. I have no idea, but I'm assuming Can I just it's- say quickly with that nice shirt and you've got your glasses on today, you look like someone who's about to walk out and do one of these keynotes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Xbox experience. We're so happy here at Xbox. To It's just such a silly word. Yeah. You look like the you're more about you to announce Xbox. watermelon VR. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me chomping on one of them little handles. <laughs> so wait, you put the VR headset on and it's not even it's not even from your view- the person with the you've got the VR headset on, and then it's the person is watching you. Yeah, in oh, a yeah. room just in a watermelon. Really, yeah. really they can't close interact up with you. They can't do anything. And even if you lean back, <laughs> I just lean forward. <laughs> I come closer towards you. <laughs> you need to do one of them in one of those five D cinemas where then someone, as you oh, munch into the watermelon bit of spray, so yeah. <laughs> standing there with a water gun, yeah. squirting the person a bit on of the smell. face. Do it on sixty, and then I'll also like. Give you a watermelon as you leave. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the sixth dimension is. Sixth yeah. dimension, getting something for free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed looks like an Assassin's Creed game again. And I, I just stupidly have high hopes for it, and I think, oh, maybe this will be the good one that I want. Yeah, the yeah. graphics look great. Look fucking. It yeah, looks awesome. really beautiful. Yeah. I like the setting a lot. Yeah, you never see the pyramids all painted up white and shit like they apparently yeah, used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When w- which was the last one that you both enjoyed? Oh, uh, uh, I liked Black Flag, the pirate one. Okay, I never played that one, so mine is like two. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, and I, I, I've got nothing against them. They're just yeah. It, they became very bland and kind of disappointing. And it's very rare that they'll be out, and there'll be nothing else I want to play more. Mm. Right. Yeah. You know, well, and Sy- Syndicate, the last one, no one really liked. Sure. It and was, then Unity before that was the French one. Yeah. And people hated that one, I think. And I liked was... that one, but I, I really didn't like Syndicate, really, right. di- really didn't like 3. But sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's been, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And it looks a bit more like Horizon, which I also felt like an Assassin's Creed game. Oh, that's the other yeah. thing. I finished Horizon. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. It was, uh, the story is actually quite fun in that. If you treat it like it's just a Tomb Raider game, yep. more than an open world thing, it becomes a lot more fun in my opinion. Yeah, right. Anyway. Um, treat it like it's a Tomb Raider game. Just go straight so through. Go jack off to the main character when I'm 13. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ask Put the nude code Google in. Google nude codes. <laughs> or sorry, ask Jeeves about nude codes. Um, 
So, yeah, it looks like an Assassin's Creed game still. They've changed up the combat apparently, but we'll Yeah, see. right. Yeah, yeah, actually it looks a little bit more for for honorish. Yeah, oh, yeah or yeah. like yeah. the Witcher people who've played it are comparing it to a right. bit, which wasn't the best part of that game yeah. by any stretch. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see with that one. Yeah. I'm not expecting a, a much of a change though. Yeah. Uh after that they showed Metro Exodus. That looks fucking sick. Yeah, I watched the trailer for that before, and that yeah, that looked cool. Yeah, have yeah. you played any of the o- either of the other ones? Yes, no, right. And yeah. I think I've played a little bit of each of them. Did never really got into them enough to play them all the way through, but sure. was into them. Yeah, it's still. I will say again, to me, there's just a lot of sameness creeping in of like, oh, post-apocalyptic and oh, zombies yeah. and stuff. But this, it just from that brief trailer that I watched had. Just enough of kind of yeah. something like its Bit own personality. personality to be like. Well, they're based on uh, books. Okay, yeah. right, and, right, and has a lot of lore to it. Where so, are the books yeah. from? Who's I the? Think, are they Russian? I think I, they're Russian. Or yeah. are they just set in Russia? I'm not sure, but I th- I, th- I thought they were Russian. Yeah. Sounds like you'll be remember. Russian to buy this game when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I do know that they're a tra- they're not English English. They're translated from something, and I think it's neither Russian. was that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> then English. they announced uh, a version of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yeah, right. For the Xbox, so that isn't coming to the PS4. That's no. just the Xbox and the PC, and the PC yeah. version's really good. Right. Also, there's stuff. Is, this, is that the one you were talking about a few weeks ago? Battle That's Royale. Like battle, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And, like, it's really dumb that, like, in that trailer, they were like, and now you can leap over fences and stuff, and right. that, that changes shit heaps. Yeah, right. right. Anyway. <laughs> State of Decay 2. Yeah, sure. Zombies. Yep. Uh, build a little house to protect yourself from the zombies. Mm-hmm. Yep. The Darwin Project is the next game on the list here. I don't really remember what that was. I think I missed that one, yeah. 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 Is that that book about people who kill themselves in dumb ways? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the dumb the, dumb ways to die out. <laughs> you have to kill yourself in the dumbest way possible. <laughs> oh, fuck, that'd be great. <laughs> it's like that game. You never played that game where you have to throw yourself off like a... Uh, stairs and causes as much damage. Oh yeah, they're really old Windows game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like yeah. a 3D, very oh. early 3D. Yeah, and, and the physics were really doll. like yeah. the way he would like kind of tumble like yeah. a little rag doll. Yeah, you could drive in a yeah. truck at one point in it. I think you could drive Maybe. a truck against a wall. Maybe that was like a later. I think there were a couple yeah, of different yeah. versions. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's that. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, I'm in. And the, you know what? I'm just, getting an Xbox for it. I'm, I'm gonna click on it and just quickly look at it. Oh yeah, it was some fucking like Overwatch. Riff we had a good riff game. on oh, it. Okay. You don't need to go yeah, into it. No, I just yeah, wanted to do my due proof. my due diligence. Okay, and now I've done more than that, so yeah. I should be promoted. My superhero name is Due Diligence. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Fighter Z was the oh, next one. Oh, this looked great. It yeah, looked this looks cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Hand drawn um, yeah, kind of yeah. style. Yeah. Um yeah. It it amazes me that the the legacy of Dragon oh, Ball man. still still can there's still people out there frothing over it. I it's, think they're still making it. I think they're still writing the manga. In some yeah. way. Oh, really? It is still massively popular. I yeah. don't th- yeah, it must be it, it must be like whole new people doing it now. Because all yeah. of the original stuff was written by one dude. Yeah. And I think yeah. that wrapped up. Like that cartoon that was big when we were kids, I think, is originally from like the uh, late eighties. Eighties or something. Right. Yeah. So that was Dragon Ball, and then Z came later. Well, Z on. was also late eighties, though. I think. Yeah. Oh, right. Like yeah, it was way were. earlier than than right. when we were getting around to I, it. I remember being in school and it, people going through the Dragon Ball Z phase, yeah. and yeah. I always felt like I always felt like a bit of an outsider because I way way preferred the first one, oh. Dragon Ball. Yeah. No, I um I was definitely a Z a Z boy. <laughs> have, yeah. you re- have you read any of? Dragon Ball, like just Dragon Ball? No, I don't think I have. Man, no. go hunt out the comics. Yeah. Like it's great. Yeah, like no. it's it's just it's funny. Yeah. Like same cool character design and stuff. Him going around trying to find the dragon, the, get the seven Dragon Balls together mm. to get a wish. But it's just he still has fights and stuff. But he yeah. just meets all these. It's very old school Japanese in that he's right. you know going around with this girl who's like. This cute teenager, yeah. and he has his his sort of his I guess his teacher who's like a old an old man, yeah. Master Roshi, like, yeah, yeah, constantly yeah. trying to like look up her skirt, yeah, yeah, and, see her in the and stuff like yeah, <laughs> and it's but funny because funny because <laughs> like the early the very start of it like the um. Uh, like the monkey magic kind of storyline where he he's living alone and he's like a little boy with a tail. And yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. He, but it's really cloud. Mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah, flying cloud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's it's, the monkey. It's thing. really interesting. Like I, I always thought that was such a cool. Like I loved that one. I I also liked Dragon Ball Z. I thought that was such an interesting premise where you then you then go like 
it's a different series where it's 20 years on and he has a kid yeah, and, yeah. and he's got all these other weird friends now and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I always thought it was really funny because I would read the comics because I got into it at the point where they were re-releasing the comics in English each month oh. and they would translate them really faithfully. Yeah. So all the real fucked up, dirty old man <laughs> shit was in there. But yeah. then I, they started playing the cartoons on Channel 10, which have been dubbed yeah. in Rest English in with a much oh, different yeah. eye. So just all the... There'd be all these weird edits, like, because they, I remember when they made the cartoon, they did it frame for frame from the comics. Yeah. So you'd be like, oh, here's a bit where she's in the shower, and then it would just cut, and it, a bit where you know that it's the old man going, boy, I'd like to fuck her. Like, yeah. all of a sudden in the English dub, he's going, who wants a sandwich? It's like, <laughs> wait a minute. Like, I felt like such a cultural king for like knowing that, hang on a minute, we're being lied to here in the West. Oh. Old men like to fuck, and they're trying to they're trying to lie to us and tell us that they don't want to fuck. <laughs> we should be more sex positive. Mm. I agree, especially when it comes to old men who are cartoons. Yes, um, it looks really cool. It does look cool. I yeah. hope yeah. they get all of the uh, English voice actors from the original thing. Oh, yeah. to, to record it. Yeah. Like the Japanese voices sound fine, but I just don't have any like attachment to them yeah yeah Yeah. so that would be uh my wish if i could find all seven dragon balls (laughs) god uh deep rock galactic that's a fucking sick name for a band but i don't remember all of these out aren't there like 47 of them we'll just skip that one it was like dwarves (laughs) minecraft uh the artful escape that looked really fun it was a dude with a guitar yeah like doing platforming or something it looked really nice yeah uh, the last night. This is the one where the dude ended up. Oh, yeah. Boy, okay. So yeah. this looks. This looks like a kind of a Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Yeah. Um. So this trailer comes out. People lose their minds over. Yeah. People are going. That looks like the game. Yeah. Then it turns out that the dude who's making it. People unearthed some tweets from him like three years ago. Yeah. Where he's very pro Gamergate. Yep. And he's saying that he's going to make this game where it's like, what if feminism won? Yeah. And showing the kind of dystopian future that it's become. Yeah. The internet jumps on that. Yep. Uh, he then he th- he then is now he's now retracting that and saying Yeah. Well, he's I saying, don't feel I've, that way I've anymore. Changed, yeah. 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 He came out the next day at the PC gaming show. Oh yes. Which is the worst name. Well, other than the Xbox One X. God, video <laughs> game things are embarrassing to say. <laughs> it's like those fucking hamburgers that make you say, I'll have a gloopy whoopy, please. <laughs> Um, We're talking about a guy who's saying that he's going to create a game where feminism has won. And, and I'm talking going, about hamburgers, and baby. And you're going, God, the name of the conference is silly. <laughs> but anyway, he, yeah, he came out and he was like, hey, look, I apologize and retract all of that because now I have a financial stake in yeah, this conference. Yeah, totally. I'm willing to bet. <laughs> but the, yeah. That's the hard thing because I, I, I agree. People can change their views in, in a three-year period. I totally agree. And I think that, yeah, if you got caught out for that, of course you'd be horrified and of course that's what you'd want to do but at the same time if you did still think that that's still what you would say. Yes. Yeah. So it's yes. kind of hard to go No one's getting on stage and going I meant it. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. It's crazy that Microsoft didn't uh, you know there might I I do wonder what kind of vetting goes on of yeah. these kinds of things like if you're going to if that guy's going to suddenly be if he's part of your conference and he's going to suddenly be front and center. Yeah. Surely they have teams dedicated to, you know, just doing a full sweep of the... Yeah, of and you, the you, you, you'd stuff. imagine, like, even just basically his his personal opinions generally, yeah. they'd vet. But the fact that he said it about the game yeah. Yeah. is particularly strange that he didn't just delete that tweet. Yeah. And it does look like... It was on some it, forum or something. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. People had already picked up like on it. Yeah, that's it's, right. It, it, like, it, it, it's evolved and it isn't so much that anymore. Yeah. But it also very much could be. It's it hard to tell. Be, yeah, I mean, it's that's the thing. That's the shame is that it's hard to tell without playing it to find out just how yeah. much of a yeah. an agenda or a mission is in there. Yeah, and it's a shame because it does look cool. Yeah, I said this to you at the time. I'm glad to not be an Xbox owner so that I don't have to face this moral dilemma <laughs> yeah, of yeah. whether I'll play this game yeah. or not. Well, I mean, we'll just wait for the It's reviews, coming out on the PC as well, and here's how you solve that moral dilemma. Pirate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't advocate piracy unless it's in Sea of Thieves, the next game that was shown. <laughs> oh, yes. my God. On the, uh, are Microsoft. there any more games that are actually interesting? Because we, I don't think any of us are really interested in Sea of Thieves, right? No, neither Still am I. Not. Yeah. It's rareware, but it's like... I mean, I'm interested in, in for the fact that, you know... One of the most influential game designers of the yeah. late 90s and had such an impact yeah. on a certain generation of people like 
GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie, yep. like so formative to so many people our age. Yeah. And now like what are they doing? Yeah, like, yeah, the Guns N' Roses of, <laughs> yes. of video games. They also kind of got shown up because Ubisoft's Pirates game looks way better. Well, I don't know about that. This I think it looks both way look- better. <laughs> so this, so this They're is both kind of-, kind of weirdly different where this is like a multiplayer thing. It looks like you yeah. kind of make up your own fun. Right. You're released in these Caribbean islands and you go around looking for treasure and shit. Yeah. It, it doesn't dun, look that. Dun, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is their big first party yeah. move, right? Yeah. 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 This fucking turn-based pirate ship It's thing. not turn-based. No, it's I think it's real-time. Yeah, well, but it's just it co-op. Yeah. It's just co-op only, yeah. yeah. There's four of you walking around. I, you can see exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be six people standing on a fucking ship all playing accordions, <laughs> yes. crouching and standing up, crouching and standing up. <laughs> ah, That's yeah. all it's going to be, yeah. and it doesn't look particularly interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I like the art style. Uh, Black Desert, which is some Korean MMO. Cuphead got a release date. Yes. Oh, yeah. And again, September like that's 29th. on PC as well as yeah. Xbox. All of this shit. I was so concerned <laughs> that I was never going to be able to play it. I'll just put my PC back together. Literally the every single of one of these games is not only on the Xbox. The yeah. creator of Cuphead tweeted eight years ago that the Holocaust was a lie, though. So oh, really? Yeah, but yeah, the, the, the creator of The Last Night called him <laughs> Cuckhead, so <laughs> <laughs> it all balances out in the end. <laughs> the reason um, he's doing it in that graphical style is because, t- in his words, this is when everyone was treated the way they should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Crackdown. Crackdown 3 was next. Before, yeah. Which... I don't know. Looks it looks fucking bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It looks like a like a medium game from two thousand seven, which is what Crackdown was. Yep. And then Terry Crews screaming at you. Yeah, the start of that trailer oh, is so embarrassing. Yeah. I think yeah. you guys, it looks like the start of those little videos that they have at the start of rides, where it's like, yeah. okay, guys. Yeah. The enemy's attacking, so for some yeah. reason the way to stop okay, them soldier. Is, is to get in this car and do a few loop the loops, and that should oh, sort it out. It's like this start of laser tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know you haven't been through the training fully yet. <laughs> We're gonna have to throw you out there. Hey, quiet down in the back, and no one's talking. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's three guys on uh, someone's fourteenth birthday yeah. party. <laughs> <laughs> Super Lucky's Tale, some platformer Tacoma, which is by oh. the people who did Gone Home, and it's yeah. in a space station. That looks yeah. really cool. Yeah, that does. That's look on cool. everything. Uh, Ashen, don't know, remember what that is? A Life is Strange prequel. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, I think Life is Strange is free on the PSN thing at yes, the moment. Yes, it is. All oh, right, um, cool. And I've heard nothing but good things about that, so that yeah. sounds cool. Ah, oh, fuck. I just hit a button and there we go. Um, <laughs> Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Did either of you play Ori and the Blind Forest? No. Uh, looks really nice. Apparently right. a Metroid thing. I bet I'd like it. haven't played it. Uh, that's a sequel. Anthem, Middle Earth, Shadow of War. Oh, I feel yeah. like we talked about that a fair bit when I, it first got announced. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's, it still looks good. Yeah, yeah, I hope it, like is a bit more interesting than I found the first one, but uh, ultimately who cares about anything? ID at Xbox <laughs> Games Montage. Don't remember anything that was in that. T- uh, blah, blah, blah. Minecraft. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and well, my- Minecraft being cross-platform is pretty, yeah. is pretty yeah. interesting. Good on them. Yeah. That's um, cool. That's, I mean, that's big news for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Sony has been real vocal about going, we're not doing cross-platform yeah. stuff. We yeah. don't need to. We're in the lead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which has been a little gross kind of. Uh, and kind of not being honest about it, lying about it a, a little bit, right. like with Rocket League, they're the only one who's not allowing it to be cross platform. Nintendo's having yeah. that on the Switch, and they're like, no, we need to protect, you know, people who've made a pact with us to be online with us, yeah. you yeah. know, for their safety. And they're like, but Nintendo's doing it. And but once, yeah, yeah exactly. Once Nintendo, the most protective company, like once yeah. they're yeah. doing it, like, yeah, they'll. Fuck, they'll have to cave at some point. Uh, who yeah. knows? Uh, and then they also announced that original Xbox games will be backwards compatible at some oh, point. Oh, yeah. Which, that's kind of cool. And yeah. apparently they want to make that the case on the PC somehow as well. Oh. Which is kind of sick. Yeah. The five original Xbox games that you want to play. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, then, that, so, so, bit of a, a, a flop of a shot. We were yeah. really yeah. saying they had to... It's it you know that's the one thing that's very interesting about EB E E three is you know looking back and we'll, we'll come in more into this later when we've done all the presentations but yeah you know what a difference a year makes where all of a sudden like I reckon just from this Microsoft are, uh they they're potentially in trouble here yeah like they I mean, they do not have a lot they've got their core base and they've got people that will still stick by them because it's like anything it's like a phone like 
You know, you yeah. hear more and more about how much better Android is, but it's like who can be fucked moving everything across? Yeah. Like once you're locked in, you are kind of locked in. Yeah. But, man, they are not going to be picking up any new customers. The oh, Xbox the One is fine and the PS4, it, like if you could only afford to get a PS4 or an Xbox One, PC's out. Mm. Yep. There are reasons that you might go for an Xbox. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of many. I can't think of any. If you like Forza or a, th- a bunch of those ones were only PC and Xbox. So, you know. But I don't think any of them were enough to I, I don't think any me. of them that's, were I mean, that's amazing all, enough to. No, yeah. and I tend to agree as well. But that's all like yeah. you can imagine some person who goes, hey, yeah, a bunch of the best games in the last few years. No, thank you. I don't want a PS4. <laughs> and uh, then next on the bloody timeline of events is uh, my friend Bethany. What's her last name, do you think? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wrong. It's it's Esda. Beth 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 Esda, we call her. You call her Beth Esda. Yeah, I'm not we're not that close. We're close yeah. enough for me to call her Beth rather than Bethany, but I have to say her surname every do time. Do you know a couple of Beths? Is that why? Uh I know Con the Fruiter style. <laughs> Two Beths. <laughs> I don't know any Beths, but I know a couple of Daves. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. Um so these guys last year, they the absolute madmen. They <laughs> did a last minute. What? Why are you shaking? Oh, because I'm being like them. Those absolute madmen. Oh right, okay. <laughs> I wasn't um, saying you're wrong. <laughs> I was just like those fucking clowns. They yeah, they they announced Fallout Four with like what three months until yeah, they it was did. out yeah. or something like that. Yeah, they uh, just went. By the way, kaboom. Yep. yep. And pe- people love this company, right? Like, there's a lot of, a lot of love oh, out there for people go real back and forth. Yeah. on them, it feels like uh, well, like. Not a lot of people loved Fallout 4, but people still really love Skyrim. It's one of those things where people are so attached to them but hate them at the same... It's like Call of Duty people almost, you know, where they're like every single year they're going to buy whatever they do and moan the fuck about it all the time. This most recent one has been awful for that, but I kind of don't want to bother talking about that. What? What the... the new Call of Duty. Oh right. Oh, I think it's oh. worth briefly bringing up. Well, we'll come to that when because yeah. yeah, that's yeah, in yeah. the Sony one. But um, or I, I thought that Bethesda's um press conference was great this year. Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, you can't match the thing of last year announcing a game that big and yeah. then it being out, you know, immediately. But Wolfenstein looks great. Yes, that's the game out of this that looks cool. Well, so it, Doom- I, I kind of feel like Wolfenstein Two looks cool enough that. I can just say the whole press conference seemed great because yeah, I just, totally. yeah, that I just like love it. I, hey, I guess what? I'm one. about to do that about a certain press conference that we're going to get to eventually as well. <laughs> yeah. If it, I mean, all, all any company needs is like one amazing guy. Ga- like, yeah. man, you're lucky. You know, a lot of companies get up there and fucking tread water for an hour with nothing yeah. good to show for it. Like, Everyone knows who yeah. Don McLean is, but name another <laughs> song other than American Pie. <laughs> By him or just in general? Starry, just starry in general. Night. Starry, 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 starry Night. How about it, Shutty the Fuck Up? <laughs> <laughs> Shutty How? the Fuck Up. That's another song he did. That's my point. Is that he, he did didn't Shut know. Up Your Face. Yeah. yeah, Shut Up Your Face. A long, long time ago. Um, um, I, uh, we we kind of had a... I don't know if you guys were actually in this conversation. On um, Virtual Pals, our... our um, Facebook group that we're part of. Can we say the name of it? Are people able to search that now? It's hidden. Good. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I might bleep out the name. Um, <laughs> on uh, on the video games Facebook group that we are all a part of, we um, a bunch of us had a bit of a chat about Wolfenstein, mm. um, and uh, there was yeah a bit of you know a back and forth about like the quality of the story and the pacing and as in the fir- the well not the first the, one the but new the order one, yeah. And um, uh, which was I was interested to to hear because I kind of thought that it, either no one had really played it or everyone loved it because I just thought it was a fucking great game. Yeah. Um, and I love the story. I love the setting. I love the way it treated all the stupid Nazis on the moon stuff. I thought it was really really cool. Yeah. And and the new one looks better almost. Um, I definitely yeah. with the first one landed somewhere in like the upper end of middle, just because right. there were a couple of sections I remember that were kind of not great. There, right. were, there were a few bits where I remember thinking, this is less fun than the other parts of this game. Okay. And there were a couple of the story beats that also didn't really land for me. Um, like some of the bits where you're back in the base were just a little long and flat. There was just like a middle section right. that was flatter for me. But for the most part, that was really cool. Yeah. And especially because it like kind of set up Doom 
yeah, in, in a way. Totally. Um, and so that was the first thing that, that Bethesda had said here was Doom VR. Or yes. Doom yeah. VFR. What does the F stand for, boys? I reckon it stands for bloody French. Okay. <laughs> That's what they call it if you when a girl goes down on you, I've heard. What? Yeah. What Man, school you're... kid doesn't know what a blowjob <laughs> is but knows the term go down? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this girl was Frenching my dick the other day. <laughs> well, so Doom, they- Doom VF and R. Uh, that looks cool. Yeah. yeah. And they announced Fallout. Fallout 4 VR, VR as yeah. well. Which is interesting because I think they're one of the only companies to sort of go, here's proper games yeah. Yeah. in VR. Well, Absolutely. so then Fallout 4 VR isn't on PlayStation VR. It's only on the Vive thing, I think. Oh, right. That's Doom weird. is on PlayStation VR. And then during the Sony thing, they announced Skyrim VR, yeah. which is in the PlayStation 1. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, that's so a weird. I Should I, in your opinion, hold out? To play Doom until it's out on VR? It doesn't matter because this is a different thing. You oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. This oh, right, is, okay. this yeah, is yeah. separate because this will be you pointing at the ground somewhere and clicking to warp there. Oh. And yeah. then more like um, waves of enemies from the look of it. Right, okay. Yeah. Which is a different thing and I'm, yep. but probably makes sense for VR. Because yeah, yeah. But that's cool. That, that's Doom yeah. is cool. so fucking quick you couldn't really do it. Yeah, yeah okay. you would, you'd vomit like every 30 <laughs> seconds. But that'd be sick. Imagine <laughs> having like all that metal music playing and you're like... Bleh! Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a cool way of doing these VR things where it's like, yeah, take a game that's popular and then, yeah, a little extra, a little extra yeah. taste. Yeah. A little extra taste after it's come out and yep. you know, <laughs> that little extra bit. Yeah. A little extra <laughs> taste after you, th- you thought it would all come out, but then there's a little extra taste oh, for you. Oh, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> the Fallout 4 VR is like full on the game. Though, that right? is Fallout yeah. 4. And that kind of makes sense because if you lean on the, uh, what is it, VATS? Yes. Thing a bit more, you can have all of the combat and stuff be pretty static. Yeah, yeah. So that makes that makes sense. That yep. one a lot more. But yeah, unfortunately, that is only for people who have spent about three thousand dollars on a really good PC and, yeah. and right. a Vive thing. Yeah. So, but then they announced uh, Skyrim. Oh well, showed some of Skyrim Switch. Yeah. Yep. That's Skyrim on the Switch. We, we yep. were talking about. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> It, it's the little trail they made had a Passion Pit song from about 2009 <laughs> in it, which yeah. just looks dumb. And For a game from 2011. Yeah. To, <laughs> yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. I thought – I know they've gotten a lot of flack for like, oh, you know, when the, when they announced the Switch and it was like, oh, cool, Skyrim's coming to it. Who gives a fuck? I yeah. at the time thought, well, I never played it and I'm sure there's plenty of people like me and, uh, you know, I guess th- that's cool. And, you know, even if you are just releasing something from a long time ago – if people like it enough, I think there's something to be said for at least being able to play it on the yeah. go. Oh, I, yeah. I completely my, agree with that. My question is, having now played Breath of the Wild and loved it and no. loved it for the style and everything, I don't know that I really care. Like, I just look at it and I go, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't really care they're, now. They're pretty different. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. I, they're, they're, I, they are similar in a lot of ways, but they're also different. The, the only thing that I think people who go – angry at them for <laughs> is uh, I'm about to go angry if you don't <laughs> is you don't stop Frenching me <laughs> all these different versions of Skyrim are so front and centre for them at the moment yeah yes. that's just that's the weird thing about well, it people is, knew the Switch one was out there so at least yeah. them just showing it off they were like oh okay we'll just proper confirmation There's of how amiibo. that's going to work yeah. yeah. and then the next day they're like oh and in VR too I think that pushed people yeah. over the edge of like yeah. why are you all of a sudden yeah, like the, it makes sense to give people the option of playing it on a handheld. Yeah. And dude, Skyrim in VR sounds kind of fucking fun. Yeah, That yeah. sounds sick. They yeah. look like you draw the bow back by yes. doing that thing and I thought that was dumb on the Wii but now I'm an older, <laughs> wiser man. <and laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then they had um, a DLC thing for Dishonored 2, The yep. Elder Scrolls Legends Heroes of Skyrim which is a I, card game. Oh, okay. I looked it up trying to find out what it is and I couldn't, <laughs> yeah, couldn't it's, figure it out. It's like Hearthstone or Gwent. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. All these fucking dumb names. Yeah, Triple Tri. Yeah. From um, uh, FF8. Oh, paid mods again. The Creation Club for oh, Fallout yes. 4 and Skyrim Special Edition. So that's. Can yep. you. I don't quite get what this is and how it works. Because there was talk. I, I did yeah. read a thing that they. There was talk about it ages ago and people hated it. Yeah. Well, that's because that was things that had already existed. They were then suddenly going to start charging for. Yeah. When they had been. When they had been free. This is right. basically you make a mod thing yourself. You put it up on their shop and people can pay for it if they want. A right. bit like and Bandcamp for okay, mods. Right. Yeah. Think of it and like w- that. And what was the thing about it before that people didn't 
that like? it was going to be more like imagine if they started charging for listening to songs on Spotify, but they've been free this whole time if you have the subscription. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. that's sure. the closest sure. analogy that my idiot monkey brain. <laughs> that I mean, that <laughs> seems like a with. cool way of you know. If embr- you're making, embracing it and yeah, yeah, everyone totally. get it as long as the people themselves that are making it are getting a bit of coin, then yeah, who totally. cares? Totally. I don't really have a big problem with that at all. Yeah. Uh, like if you make something, you deserve to be paid for it. Unless it's comedy. <laughs> 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 uh, then The Evil Within 2. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I never played the original one. No, none of us did. And I think we yeah. kind of cast the net to see if anyone had. And the general consensus was it was bad, but this could be all right. Yeah. I, I had a couple of people recommend it based on me saying I really love Resident Evil 4. Yeah, it's right. a I had a couple guy. people message it's, me uh, say, yeah. Shinji right. Mikami is, I think, his name. Yeah. Resident Evil 4 guy. And yeah, that's that's exactly what I've heard as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Resident Evil 4, but a bit weaker. Right. Then, yeah, Wolfenstein 2. Yep. Looks funny. Looks like I yeah. genuinely laughed a couple of times yeah, at that yeah. trailer. I, I, the way that the. I guess it's Bethesda. The way they put together their trailers is it's great. Yes. Yeah. And it specifically the Wolfenstein ones. Sort of weird with that one, how it just went like, and here's an expert. And yeah. it, like, it didn't really have any transition stuff. It just went, and here's another bit of a scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like the cinematic stuff at the start. Yeah, that like, reminded that me stuff. of. Um, Neither of you played Metal Gear Solid 4, did you? No. Yes, I did. Okay, I played yeah, 4, yeah. So right at the, right when you started that, remember how it had the weird TV channel thing oh, really quickly? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a bit like that stuff. Yes, yeah. And it looks cool, like it, just the thing of making this ridiculous like Nazis in America, yeah. but with this really cranked up sort of tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's talk about Call of Duty now then, I guess, okay. because that's in the PlayStation 1 and that's something that – like there's been because it's Call of Duty World War Two. Yes, and there's been some weird stuff going around with like so apparently only in the multiplayer. In the single player, it's like very much a historically here's World War Two. Yep, as it happened. Yeah, but slightly more explosions. Oh, yeah. there are a lot in World War Two, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> A bit more of Michael Bay. Nox trying, yeah. yeah. trying to claim that he knows the exact number of explosions <laughs> yeah. that yeah. really happened. In there World were 634 in. That's so few. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let that, that war wasn't as bad as people make it out to be. <laughs> oh god, it was more like a bit of a Barney than anything else. Yeah, a bit of a scuffle. <laughs> so in the multiplayer, and I'll tell you my theory for why this is afterwards. What the what ah, they've done? Another bit of forward sizzle. I got a little see, bit of forward sizzle see, there. See, you get it. It, it feels good. <laughs> it is pretty it? good. And you can feel people listening, going, "God, I've got you on the bloody hook now." Yeah. Oh. So they in the multiplayer only, other than in Germany where there's no swastikas allowed. Yes. Uh, they they replaced the swastika with the black cross or something like that, which was the symbol for Germany in World War One. And I apparently, believe. a similar version of that is still the symbol for the German army. Right. It's just like a German military symbol. Yeah, sure. Okay. And it was never directly associated with Nazism, yep. apparently. But I'm not a uh, historian. I believe that's correct. Um, yeah, a lot of World War One stuff... It- it, cause it, a lot of World War One stuff. People are very quick to point out they weren't Nazis. No, they were just the German army yeah. Yeah. and all the World War One uh, German soldiers. Yeah, it's the Iron Cross, I think it's called. Yeah. Yes. So there's that, and then also in the multiplayer only, you can pick who you want to be. So you can create a character that can either be a woman or whatever race. You, well, not even necessarily whatever race. I think you can be black, but I don't know if you can be any race. Yeah, yeah. So fuck, people don't like that. <sighs> And I, on the swastika thing, I kind of get the thing of like, it's a bit weird to rewrite that. Mm. But then at that point, you're saying it's a bit weird to have this dumb, fun multiplayer game sure, set yeah. here. But then yeah. at that point, you're saying it's dumb to be a kid and hate Nazis and, and, and shoot stick guns. Yeah. So yeah. It's, I, that's a real gray area. But the thing of here's a multiplayer game, make the character that you want to represent you. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. of course, there weren't fucking women at the front lines in a lot of the place. Yeah. But who gives a shit? It's yeah. not then. Yeah. You're not actually in World they War II. They yeah. There are a lot of women playing it now and if they want to play as a woman, then yeah. sick. Yeah. And they if a man wants to play as a woman, if anyone does. And they weren't organising to have timed 10-minute matches where <laughs> exactly. at the yeah. end of that, whoever had killed the most people. You've taken the- three of the flags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a lot of regeneration going on. No, not yeah. a lot of respawning <laughs> halfway through. Well, and so here's the reason I yeah. think that they've made it so that that you can be whoever you want other than the obvious reasons of like it's equal today. representation yeah the call of duty for the last few years has had a big fucking thing of making a lot of money off of selling bright purple guns and shit yeah you can't make that money if you're having a historically representative multiplayer thing yeah 
they've had a lot of people like optional Snoop Dogg voiceover packs and shit. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Right, you right. can't sell that shit if you then have the swastika in the background and you've got fucking some idiot coming on being like, hey, 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 it's Justin Roiland here. You know, yeah. like yeah, you can't yeah. do that then. Yeah. So I'm willing to bet that's a large part of why they're making a delineation between the two. Sure. This multiplayer thing is silly and frivolous and fun and it's just a bit of playing at war. And then at that point that raises questions of like, is that a fun game to play? Right. Well, but also like Call of Duty, not known for their tactful representation yeah. of war ever. Well, Surely the single player campaign is yeah. probably going to be pretty tactless. Well, it may and, be. And yeah. like, it clearly it does look... It looks like it is... Uh, at least you, how do we describe it? Like a mentioned glorif- private Facebook yeah. group that we're in. You you said something very interesting after the trailer had come out about how just kind of gross it looks and the sure and like and so the it, fetishization of, yes, of war. And, it was and that and yeah. your exact wording because you don't seem to remember anything that you've said in the past when I bring it up on the Correct. show. Was that <laughs> this glorification of You're so used of, to saying like I do not recall <laughs> <laughs> this glorification of some this big thing that kind of a lot of people that we're related to and, you know, get a lot of people went to and came back with PTSD, yeah. people yeah. in our families. My grandfather we Herman yeah. <laughs> had a real... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, I have, you know, Jewish relatives. Yeah. yeah. And, and and which is why it's strange for me to also be loving Wolfenstein. But Wolfenstein is obviously a heightened, ridiculous version Alternate of it. Reality. Alternate reality. Alternate reality. Yeah. It's very strange to have the stones to think here is what it was really like yeah. and we're being respectful of this like sick if you want to do Saving Private Ryan make Saving Private Ryan yeah. don't make Saving Private Ryan about Tom Hanks being six foot four and buff as fuck yeah, walking yeah. in and going America's here you cunts totally yeah. well he wouldn't say cunts because like, he's American but you know <laughs> what I mean how basic do you have to yeah. be where like that's the best thing you can think of in a video game and maybe yeah. it won't be that anyone frothing on the idea of like yeah. how fucking cool it'll be to be like a soldier in a World War 2 game yeah. Yeah. is the sort of person Person who, if fucking they were conscripted, would be doing everything they could to get out of it. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Ma- yeah, they'd yeah. be that, I, that dude it, with the bullets who watches the other guy get the knife through him. Yes, yeah. I just found it really yeah, interesting. Jeremy Davies, good actor, great movie, <laughs> horrible soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I, the, I found it really interesting that you said that because the weird timing was I watched that trailer having just been to the War Remnants Museum in Ho Chi Minh, yeah. which I know is completely different wars and everything, but if you've ever been to a war museum, they are extremely sobering yes. experiences. Yes. And so the timing of being in there and it being very, very overwhelming yep. and it, it really making you – I think it's very easy to think of those you know wars from ages ago as just like, oh, that's a thing I read about in the books and, yeah. and then actually just immersing yourself in a building where oh, totally. you're hearing about it for two hours straight Well, yeah, and I'm, then going yeah. – and watching that trailer was just like, what the fuck is this? This yeah. is so it's, lame. It's hard to describe like why that one specifically is off-putting because like I played Battlefield 1942. I thought it was really good. Yeah, uh, but then yeah, like you've been the to the Holocaust Call of Museum, Judy's. like you've been to the War Memorial, and that it, it's it is a very serious thing. And also yeah, it's World War Two, and we know you know there's p- people still around well, who fought yeah. that war. Like, but there's just, been. Things that are frivolous and fun about World War Two that, like Wolfenstein, that you don't have a problem yeah. with, yeah. And you know, even things like the Dam Busters and whatever, you know, right. like th- you can make this high adventure Indiana Jones punching Nazis thing about World War Two, and that's totally fine. Yeah, I think I Call of Duty just comes with a lot of ex- fucking ex- baggage. baggage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. it's the it's the inbuilt audience that you know are taking it in the wrong way. Yes, and, and, and then aren't, and aren't stopping to think. I mean, there is an opportunity to play that and to really make you think about you know the, about war and what it does yeah. and and the, you know the situations that are still going on yeah. today yeah. but i guarantee you 90% of their inbuilt audience are not doing that at all well i've like, seen people saying that uh, like someone ironically used the term whitewashing this history to put <laughs> black women in the front lines <laughs> right they some people claiming that that is a disrespectful thing to do for the people who are actually in World War Two. Right. What the fuck do you think those people were fighting against? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. that's what the... Like, I, I sort of understand, but, like, at the same time... But at the same time, the whole video game, like, you know, your great-grandpa going over there and, and, you know, on the front lines and whatever. Yeah. Do you think he was doing that so his 
fat ass grandson could have the luxury of yeah. sitting and playing a fucking. Go like, actually, my granddad was a white man, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure he hated black women, so yeah. I want that to continue. Yeah, in this like, game that give... I'm going to fucking pirate. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. that's not what he was out there fighting no, for. No, exactly. Like, you'd think that the idea, or you'd hope, and maybe this is revisionist a little bit, that the ideals that people were fighting for then were about people not being fucking stomped under this boot of yeah. fuck totally. you for being different. Yeah, yeah. totally. So it, it sort of represents everything that World War II, and again, being a little revisionist because it, they were different times, but that World War II was about. Yeah, yeah. 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 And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hitler so bad, that's... Mountain Dew also bad. <laughs> let's get into the Sony press conference now. Right. Our big prediction for this one was There's that... a couple just very quick things first. Oh, okay, sure. Oh. Sorry. Uh, Quake Champions, it's uh, Overwatch with Quake. Yep. Uh, there was that PC thing. Oh, there was the Devolver Digital Conference, which was like an oh, adult yeah, swim like a, looking a thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. funny. I watched little bits of that. Pretty I funny. disagree. <laughs> I, the, the little bits I watched were, were, but I didn't go through the whole thing. <laughs> 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 People um, who aren't comedians trying to do comedy. Yeah, They're always the woman, good. The woman who was doing like the thing of being the host, she was pretty good. Uh, she was all right. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot of the guys like holding up fake phones and doing wacky faces that really rubbed me the wrong, wrong uh, way. There was a lot of stuff after the actual bit that they recorded previously. I think. Right. I, I don't know if that's. So they what didn't about. show any games. They just turned up and did a. Fucking I think they showed track. a couple of. Yeah. <laughs> it's all. I think it, that's. I, yeah. I mean, I kind of think that's a funny concept at the very yes. Least. Mm. Um, uh, and then <clears> the PC thing, just really quickly, Mountain Blade 2, I know some people care about that, none of us know what it is. Yeah. XCOM 2, there's an expansion for. Right. Um, XCOM, go and give it to you. It's called. <sighs> and they're Brutal. remaking the first Age of Empires. Right. Oh, then yeah, it was, that um, sounds all right. Then it was Ubisoft. Oh, Ubisoft, next. okay, yeah. right. Mm. So part of this was we Big Shiggy himself comes out. Yes. And he wasn't even in the Nintendo thing. I know. Yeah. He just crazy. showed up at Ubisoft. That's yeah. crazy. It's a whole it was like the fucking Avengers, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this I mean this was weird because it, you know this gets the the Mario Rabbids game finally gets announced yep. and a trailer and you know we I mean we've been talking about that on this show for 8 months or something yeah, now yeah. because it's been leaked for ages so yeah. I think the vibe was very much like, oh, okay, they finally announced that. Which I was thinking about it. It's like, no, what it was meant to, in what it was meant to be was us seeing that and going, what the fuck? Like, yeah, it's kind of a real shame that it came out so early. Yeah, yeah. And uh, man, I got to say, I mean, I still wish the rabbits were not in it, but it it actually looks good. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. Am I a fuckwit for kind of liking the rabbits? No, I like him. I like him as well. I think they're kind of. I've played a couple of the rabbits games, and they were really fun. Right, and those little fuckers are funny. Yeah, I like them. They're like they're min. I know they're minion alike. I know. Well, for me, my my main thing with this game is for me. Rabbits on their own, whatever. I just think having them in the Mario world yeah. alongside these characters that I think are so well designed, yeah. it to me it just highlights how dull the design of the Rabbids is. Totally. Right. That's, but I also that's, that's, I, I like this idea of these characters come in from another dimension and they've kind yeah. of fucked up the Mushroom Kingdom and yeah. you know how are we gonna and, and all these kind of warped versions of Mario. I like that. I just wish it was I just wish it was something diff- – I just wish yeah. it was a freshly designed set of characters. Sure. That's all. Right. That's Some all. new alien. That's yeah. All. yeah. Beca- and, and also because the rabbits are synonymous with, for me at least, in my head, just kind of shovelware. They, they don't sure. seem to have a lot of like, um, you know, any kind of degree of real kind of artistic – thought to mm. them. No, they have one personality. There is yeah. one rabbit yeah. that exists. I, I like the idea of just watching Luigi roll his eyes. Yeah. You know, having a yeah. rabbit be there, be like, bah, 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 doing yeah. whatever they do. and roll it, Like fucking Luigi going, this is annoying. Yeah. 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 Or but like I, I Toad think- being like, <laughs> and then they'll be like, blah, blah, blah. Th- yeah. that'll happen a bunch. But yeah. this game is almost, even though it wasn't the surprise reveal that I'm sure they wanted it to be, this game's kind of almost become one of the biggest surprises of it E3. It looks really the, good. The way that every, I think everyone who's been shitting on it, myself included, is like, this looks cool. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. It's like basically it's XCOM. a cartoony yeah. XCOM. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, the way that you... The, the strategies that you plan look really cool. It looks great. It's it's cool to see another team yeah. taking on a Nintendo property. Yeah, yeah. And you can tell they have just so much love for yeah. the source material. Nintendo games look fucking good at the moment. Oh, yeah. man. Like the visual texture, whatever it is of yeah. the worlds and like the yeah. objects and the – yeah, it looks I'm really great. glad that they're doing this instead of just doing another Paper Mario in-house, which it yeah. seems like they just use as – 
as a as a filler when they yeah. have a gap in the schedule. Sure. I, and again, this is like it, it's starting to happen. This was my dream for the Switch is that they would start to kind of take a few more risks and be yeah. a bit weirder and push some weirder projects out there. And, you know, you look at someone like Sega who – on the one hand, they're making their own new Sonic game, which looks like dog shit. Which yeah. is well, they're this, making two of them. Well, this is my well, point. Yeah. One yeah. of them is this in-house developed apocalyptic fucking, yeah. you can create an, yeah. your own character. Who the fuck <laughs> do they think their audience is? Yeah. And then meanwhile, they've just got genuine fans who know what makes a good Sonic game and know what makes a Sonic game shit, yeah. making this love letter to the 16-bit games. And... I, yeah. The way that the Ubisoft guy was, you could tell he was so stoked to have Big Shiggy on board. He was board. fucking well oh, yeah. up. Like, the, I think that the, was beautiful. Yeah. Like you could just see like this be- and the, the fact that they seem really overjoyed by mm. the fact that they've been given the keys to this license I think is, I, I think is great and I think it yeah. looks cool and I think it's gone from being something that I think everyone was ready to dismiss mm. to it's at August 29th. So it's, I, you yeah, know, right. I think that's a big gap filler in between. I'm Splatoon getting a fucking and, and switch soon. Yeah. 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 I think that's a cool gap filler in between uh, Splatoon and Odyssey. Like yeah. it's, it's great to have a little, a little taste of Mario in between then to d- don't look at me <laughs> like that. Just because yeah. I want to suck off Mario <laughs> don't, and drink his cum, don't look at me like that. But yeah, but that was that. That's a and the more you see of it, it's like that. That that's almost the biggest surprise game of E3. Yeah. Who would have thought when we first heard about it that it would actually yeah. turn out? And the fact that it's Ubisoft developing it, who don't yeah. have a lot of goodwill at the moment. Yeah. Like yeah. I hope that uh, Rayman. Rayman himself yes. shows up at some point. Oh yeah, because he was be cool. he was the start of the rabbits. Yeah, yeah they were yeah. Rayman raving rabbits. Yeah. But that's oh, my that's point. Right. And then he got cool. fucking spiroed out of there. Yeah, <laughs> that's my point though. Rayman's a cool character design. Yeah, yeah. the rabbits to me there's just not a lot. But maybe Rayman shows on. up at some point and it's like oh. the big like oh. I hope that. Yeah, you know, right. like Mario's yeah. about to get fucked over by whatever the enemy is. Yeah, and then Rayman shows up. And Blast him in the fucking head. Oh, wow. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was weird uh, seeing Shigeru Miyamoto with like this huge fucking gun on him. <laughs> yeah. Be like, any of you fuckers try anything? <laughs> I, I didn't even realize that, that he didn't even show up for the Nintendo one. That's yeah. crazy. Well, That's I all guess, he did. But I guess E3 is more like, well, the, I mean, they don't do a presentation, so there's no yeah. live event for him yeah, to be yeah. at. Um, <clears throat> and because it's all... It's all very American based, so they've got to have Reggie kind yeah. of. Ugh. He's got to be the guy. Fronting Fucking it. Reggie! <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, Slippery well, you know, Bill was on stage. Slippery, yeah. Bill. Yes. Slippery Bill. Slippery Bill was letting out some tweets. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah Slippery Bill got up. Wait, <laughs> but Slippery Bill again. He didn't even appear in anything Nintendo. I think, I think he, he was translates translating yeah. Yeah. for something that was in that. But didn't um, he show up? Video, at, yeah. He showed up in. He showed up at some other. He showed up at EA or something. He was at Ubisoft with right, okay. with yeah. uh, Miyamoto. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. Slippery Bill. Um. Then they plowed into a bit of Assassin's Creed. We talked about that. Yeah. Uh, the Crew Two. That looks kind of fun. Yeah. You ever sure. played the first uh, Crew? No, I didn't. No. I got that for free on uh, Xbox Live. Oh yeah. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Arcadey sort of racing thing. You drive around all of America. Oh they yeah. They got planes and boats and shit now too. Oh sick. We, it looked kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, then South Park. Yep. That has some movement-y stuff, a bit like XCOM 2 now. Right. But, uh, you know. And a mobile game coming out, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Phone Destroyer. That's right. It'll be, uh, you know, those will be exactly what you think probably. Yeah. The superhero stuff. From the show was is some of my least favorite stuff they've ever done. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we talked, talked about this already. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. last week. Uh, I don't think we've, yeah, changed. Then anything, transference, yeah. which I think was that weird fucking Elijah Wood VR thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, don't know what that is, but yeah. Elijah Wood's in it. Yeah, he's like producing it as well or something. He's yeah, like a, yeah. He's he's got like a video games company now. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Skull cool. and Bones, which is the one you were mentioned before. I, I really, yeah, I came for this. People and are into this, right? This yeah, I think people I are think excited so. about it. Yeah. It looks kind of like For Honor with ships. I mean, well, it's uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag was yeah. this. You basically yeah, right. have a ship and you upgrade it and you fight other ships and you get stuff. And, and this is the yeah. one where they had some fucking song and it was like, girls oh. just want to have fun or something, but... Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah, you're right. Um, maybe that was the one where it was everybody Under wants to rule sea. the world. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, that that did look pretty cool, though. Yeah, well, uh, like you Ship didn't play combat. Black Flag, but it's really fun. Yeah. It's just the best version of it that you can imagine. And I remember yeah. people saying that was good. Just Dance. <laughs> yeah. There you go. 
you know, whatever makes them a ton of money. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Really the, the makes most them a lot of money. Popular yeah. thing that you could ever imagine, <laughs> other than chocolate. <laughs> anal <laughs> Chocolate anal <laughs> um, Then there was something Something for everyone in there. <laughs> <laughs> Or two things <laughs> One of which you like One of which you hate I'm not I'm more of a fan of carob Than anal <clears throat> Anyway Starlink Battle for Atlas was next Which is a like Very uh, elaborate way of describing anal <laughs> <laughs> the, Give me that chocolate Starlink <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, into the boudoir. It's time to battle for Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Skylanders. You make a little uh, plastic spaceship and oh. attach it to your controller, oh. and then it's your real spaceship in the thing. I would have fucking loved it if I was 10. Yeah. 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 Uh, Far Cry 5, they showed some footage of. Man, that fucking looks like Far Cry, all right. Yes. Mm. But I still really like the setting, so... Yeah. Uh, and then... Beyond- oh, Far Cry 5 had the... Uh, one of the most overused trailer songs in the history of the world, Amazing Grace. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I did too. We've yeah. Got to, we, I mean, we were talking about this before, but man, games companies really need to get better people to look at the music for their trailers. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of. Like, even yeah. that, even the Mario Rabbids reveal trailer had this shitty rock song in it. It's like, yes. it was, you no, don't really. That was a deliberate joke, though, I think. Was that it? Was, I think the lyrics of that were like something about Mario. Oh, really? And it was meant yeah. to sound like an ACDC thing. I will thing. say, I. As much as I'm thinking that game looks fun now, I'm not into all the humour in it. I'm not into fucking the selfie. The, yeah, the selfie. Yeah, uh, worse than the selfie. I thought was the the reveal of the rabbit that's dressed as Princess Peach and the music that goes. Oh uh, yeah, like that. Is oh, also, oh, Princess yeah, Peach overused. Yeah. Princess Peach actually getting the gun and then being like accidentally shooting them and being like, "I'm just a girl." <laughs> Not great. <laughs> that, At least play the to no be doubt fair, song that's always what Princess Peach has been. Yeah. So Princess Peach is po- problematic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't want to be one of those podcasts where we start going like, is the, the beauty <laughs> di- like this eight bit character from 1985? Yeah, but I think that P- Princess Peach has yes. been a great character that people have liked to use because she's like better than in yeah. Paper Mario, Mario Two. The Thousand Year Door. She was really good in that. Because right. you would play as her sometimes trying to get out of the castle. Yeah. Yeah. She was yeah. great in... Uh, wait. I just hadn't noticed... She was great in Mario 2 because she could... I'd yeah, always yeah, play yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I, yeah, I forgot I she was in Mario I just hadn't noticed the specific portrayal of her as like, I'm a dumb blonde. Yeah. 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 She's very often that. You're right. Right. Um, Beyond Good and Evil 2 was their last thing that they showed. I never played the first one, but Me apparently either. it's really good. Yeah, I people love remember it. I remember... Thinking it was like fine, yeah. Uh, it's kind of Zelda-ish or like old Zelda-ish. It looks cool. I right. like this style. I like that little fucking yeah. pig guy, whatever he is. So <laughs> this one so is. What's the deal with it? This has been. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> this has been off and on for like ten years. Yeah, or something. yeah. they, like, they yeah. tried to make it ages ago. It's fallen apart like a bunch of times. This one, apparently, I was reading today, is on day one of development. Oh. So, like, <laughs> that trailer is literally all they have at the moment. Yeah, fuck, okay, yeah. So, there is a real good shot this will also never come out. Yeah, yeah. right, okay. Um, it's meant to be some kind of online multiplayer thing, apparently, right. at some point. It's a prequel to the first one. Right. There's uh, The monkey is called Noxie. Oh, yeah! So <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. I, when we saw that, I was like, well, we got to talk about this. <laughs> I definitely would have forgotten. Yeah. What a fucking gift from God for this podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, the fact that that game won't come out for 10 years means that we'll have <laughs> plenty of... Because also the other thing was when we were... There was like a big Zelda reveal before it came out yeah. where one of the... What the the when the reveal of the villain that you fight called a high Nox. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the year of Nox, baby. <laughs> Twenty seventeen. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that I I really like the look of what yeah. th- that as like a proof of concepty thing. Yeah, which yeah. is exactly what happened about ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, so, right. Uh, let's. Uh, so here we come to um, you know I learned the name Sony. Is called that because it doesn't mean anything. It's just something that you can pronounce in any language. Same as the we. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. Which, uh, anyway, which, now we come to quickly, Microsoft. Which oh, quickly right. we who no someone was giving a shit on our page <laughs> yeah. the other day about how we pronu- about how we pronounce Sega. Ah, yes, Sega apparently. Yeah, but get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same you, with Yoshi. All these yeah. people just, it's kind of racist it's, what it, you're doing. It's always <laughs> Americans as well. Yeah. It's never like an English person being like, uh, I don't, I think English people also have a problem with how we say Yoshi. Oh, really? I used to say Mario. 
Well, that's because you're a fucking English person. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it, I think it comes from all around the globe. Uh, but yes, technically, Sega is correct. Because okay. you remember yeah. how when you turn on something, you go Sega. Yeah, but we're Australians. Yeah. We just go S E G A Sega. Yeah, yeah. B E. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pronounce their name right when they put out a fucking good game. How yeah. about that? Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now we got some Australian down, prime buddy. fucking beef right here. <laughs> uh, so Sony uh, were next on the bloody Sony. chopping block. I believe it's pronounced Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny the Hedgehog. Sonny Bono. Ooh. So the first thing they led with, according to this, was... Uh, det- so just quickly, we our yes, big prediction right? last week was, uh, yeah, we, we thought huge show last year. Yeah. You know, you'd think they'd back it up, but then we kind of went through and we went, well, everything big that they announced last year, none of it's really out yet. So yeah. that was... This was another big question of what... You know what are they going to do? You yeah. know what can they show off? What Surely there'll have? be a surprise. Surely there'll be some, you know, <laughs> something impressive. Detroit become human. <laughs> Fuck, that looks bad to me. I really don't like the look of where the story in that is going. Yeah, it just looks like the most boring, straight out of uni fucking. Well, it's like bad the Deus sci-fi. Ex one where it was like comparing cyborgs to black people. Yeah, and then <laughs> and, and it's like white cyborgs for the most part. Yeah. Jesus. It's it's this really weird. Yeah. like man, what if robots had feelings? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, man. Talk, talk to anyone who fucking bought a Roomba and they will have that exact same conversation with you. Some sure. dick who's seen The Matrix. Sure, it can clean my bedroom, but will it fall in love with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it, it, like Blade Runner and, and and The Matrix and, you know, it, it's been covered by smarter people than whoever wrote this game. Exactly. Um, before the thing, they had a bit of Gran Turismo Sport yeah. and uh, Crash Bandicoot thing, which is coming out soon. Yeah, uh, Undertale is going to be on the video. See how that <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Will Will time have been? Nope. <laughs> well, who knows? I mean, Ratchet and Clank. With not that they're the mm. same thing, but the Ratchet yeah. and Clank reboot was fucking great. But the yeah. key the key point there is that they did fully make a new they, game. They, yeah. yeah. Uh, look, I'm looking forward to going in. I never I never played them. Yeah, right. It's the you know visually the style is is right up my alley. I yeah. like platformers. Yeah. I like cartoony shit. Yeah. I'm going to give it a go. I think it's it's cool that it's a package that you get these three games in. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I, look, it'll at be, some point, why not? Yeah. But it'll, yeah. it'll be better than like ukulele for, in terms of a nostalgia totally right. platformer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, just quickly, I finished Shovel Knight on the plane on the way oh, to yeah. Singapore, which was great. Nice. Really cool. And Ooh. in talking about... Uh, customizing players in Call of Duty. I was going to say this before. One really cool thing about that is you can, in the menu, you can change whether your character is male or female and you can also choose which pronoun people use when they talk to you in the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. And you, they don't have to match up. Yeah, right. And you can also do that to every boss character that you fight against. Cool. <laughs> which I think is cool. Yeah. I th- it's such a small little thing to throw in there, but I bet, to, you know, not something I... Personally delved into, but I bet uh, you know yeah. you're someone. If that if you if that matters to you, then that that little amount of effort really really does matter to you. Yeah, and I guess it kind of comes back to not quite the same thing, but you know, no, like that's most for the most part, like those people that don't want that in Call of Duty, it's like cool, just don't play as a girl. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. Uh, and dude, just something that fucking was so gross about that stuff is people going like, it's because it's not historically accurate, and you're like, okay, I see what your point is there. There was no fucking obnoxious screaming from women on the battlefield in World War II. And you're like, oh, <laughs> sick. Well, uh, you just shot yourself in the fucking foot there, yeah, mate. Yeah. I've, um, I've seen a place where you bloody messed up, mate. It was, t- <laughs> it was hard to find. Just quickly, I don't, I don't know, know if you guys have like ever that. read anything. I, mean, I think Ameri- yes, this I American Life. Yeah, a couple of books. <laughs> this American Life did a thing on it a while ago about how you're like, you, you, like more susceptible to crying during a movie on a plane than you are anywhere oh, really? else. Yeah, there was a th- I remember reading a thing of like a, pe- a person saying they never cry in movies, but then when they're on a plane. What bad movie are you working up to tell us you well, cried no, during? No, so I kind of cr- I nearly cried at the end of Shovel Knight <laughs> because, <laughs> because you. Ba- I, I don't, it doesn't matter if I spoil this game because a it's a fucking uh, old platformer and b it's been out for like six years or something. I guess so. Skip a couple minutes if you don't want to hear it. Okay, yeah. basically the end is la la la. <laughs> your your little mate who you've tried to who you've basically gone on this whole quest shield. To Night. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Who you've gone to rescue? You fight this final boss. Uh, he comes in. The final boss is overpowering you. He basically puts himself on the line 
to right. save you. And he's like blocking this fire with his shield. Yeah. And he can only hold them off for so long. And someone else comes in and they're like, quick, we got to get out of here. And you're like, oh, and shield might come with us. And he's like, no, I have to stop you from the flames. And they're like, yeah. but you'll die. And he basically goes, he says something where he goes, Oh, look, it's okay. It was just nice to get to hang out with you guys again. Aww. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I read wow. a piece of research that said you're more likely to cry on a podcast than any other. <laughs> but I just thought that was a – that game is full of just really nice little touches Man, like that. Yeah, that right. shit it's always really, gets really me. Cool. You know the fucking moment that always gets me in movies and shit is when there's like a team, they have a fallen out, and then they come back together to beat the thing. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. that shot of them walking towards whatever. And I'm yeah. like, oh, they, they've solved their bloody differences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It anyway, was just yeah. nice to hang out with you guys again. Like, oh. fucking hell. Oh, yeah, baby. that game is great. And also I forgot that, because I was playing it heaps right before I left. Yeah. And I forgot that right before I left, I drunk one night, I ordered uh, the Shovel Knight Amiibo off a website that Oof. definitely looked like I was going to get ripped off. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it turned up today and it was sitting on my front doorstep. Oh, what very nice. Doing? Anyway. Um, so then... Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. They showed a bit more of. I think that looks fucking great. It looks yeah. like Uncharted. I, yeah, yeah. Which so. I forgot how much I enjoyed Uncharted for. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I never really got that into, especially Chloe, who was from Two. I, yeah, I was never really that big of a fan of that character, but yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I think this will be. I I think it'll be good to have an Uncharted that doesn't that isn't saddled with the pressure of having to be the biggest thing that's ever happened yeah. because it's a mainline yeah, sure. entrant. Like hopefully we can get back to a bit more of like just fun set pieces and, yeah. you know, yeah. like I said all this at the time, but I thought Uncharted had a lot going for it, but it was kind of lacking in the stuff that I personally really like out of an Uncharted game. And, yeah, I, I, I think they'll just be able to have a bit more fun yeah. with this without having to feel like, oh, this has to sell systems so it's all got to yeah. look like amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I certainly – think that it appears that they've rewritten Chloe to be a bit more like a female Nathan Drake. Yeah, because I'd never really... I think I haven't played two in a long time and I never really understood where the fuck she was at. You know what yeah, I mean? Like sure. She was one of those, like, is she a villain, is she not? Which is like an interesting thing, but I just... I don't know. Yeah. Also, something I was thinking about the other day that kind of pissed me off about every Uncharted game is how little... How underutilized that main theme is. Oh, in those yeah. games, it's a really good fucking theme and they yeah. never bring it up during the cool fucking bits, yeah. which is exactly what they should have done. Anyway, yeah. uh, if I made every game, it'd be better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, please j- jumped on board with that. <laughs> please sign off every every piece of criti- criticism you have on this show with that from now on. <laughs> uh, Days Gone was next. Oh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, okay. Yeah. I thought this looked pretty boring and shit the last year. And I thought this was really good. I thought it it showed off, yeah, the environmental design and yeah, the characterization was pretty good. I mean, and yeah, zombies is a thing that we've seen a million times. Yeah. the bike stuff looks interesting enough. I I I I hope I think it's point of difference. And the thing that interests me is that it's open world zombie stuff. Is yeah. it? I think it is. I thought never it said it. I, I, I think that last year the announcement was it was an open world game. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say that because this is the thing that worries me about this game. Yeah. Is that every piece of that looked so canned for right. the demo. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it looked like a classic one of one of those things where it's – Playing it in this way that you would never really do it. You know what I mean? Like this yeah. is what I didn't like about Sony's presentation, and this will come up m- more as we go on. That it was a lot of just eight minutes of gameplay. Like yeah. I just kind of, I just wish there'd been a bit more. Like this, to me, yeah, just playing through a section of it, and it didn't even look like that interesting of a section. Mm. And it did again in in. in for me, a lot of stuff we saw this year felt pretty samey across the board. Right. Like, just as soon as this guy kind of started in the game, started talking yeah. and he the way is his a, character. Yeah, he looks it, like a not interesting. I got to get to Gruffsville, video yeah. game land. It just seemed like Joel from The Last of Us. Even the yeah. little, like... But like, without any character. Yeah, I mean, yeah. driving past the thing and going, oh, well, looks like it got the best. Of, like, the, the offhand yeah. remarks yeah. and stuff like that. It just all seems like... Stuff that we've uh, they, to me at the moment, there's a lot of these style of games that all seem like they've been written by the the same one person, right? Who is not a particularly creative person. No, totally. Like they just show him a bunch of pictures, and he has to do a quip about each of them, and they record it. Yeah, you know totally. what I mean. Like here's a here's a building, but imagine there's zombies in it. Talk about going out of business. Here's uh, like a bush, and there's zombies in it. 
talk about going berry picking. <laughs> yeah. It, it, like, yeah. just every single fucking thing <laughs> or, is... Yeah, or it's like, oh, I guess berries are out of the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Literally stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So... You see, like, <laughs> like a dead horse. Yeah. Well, I guess horse is off the menu. <laughs> Were you going to eat a horse, mate? <laughs> Were you going to eat a horse? <laughs> Looks like I'll have to find another ride for tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wild West, more like buy horse. <laughs> So I, I'm with Ben. I I, dis, I remember somewhere this being mentioned as open world. Yeah. I'm, I, we, I'm, we, yeah. Hey, maybe we're okay. both wrong. Yeah, but I, it's I unlikely though. It. <laughs> but you could say open world in like it. I don't know how in what way they mean it. This looked like pretty linear Tomb Raider stuff to me from that demo. But they can't I didn't like get that. I yeah like okay. they, yes they were following the main character around like they're but not going to zoom out and show you the map. But like, here's I don't my know thing, what else yeah. they can and do. this is I, I think whatever this is is the fault of this showing off the gameplay yes. in this way. Yeah, I think if it if if what we think is correct and it's motorcycle gang zombies open world, that's cool. Yeah, D- show that. Yeah, like but make then, it clear yeah. that that's what it is. That's the point of difference. What they showed made it just seem like. A, just a bit of a lazy Last of Us knockoff without yeah, any yeah. of the character or skill behind yeah. it. And that's, yeah. I guess, part of my misgiving is like even if it is open world, if what you're doing at moment to moment is that sort of very straightforward hiding in the bushes, yep. distract someone, walk over, do a thing. Like it yeah. just – it looked so like – again, like whatever game that was we said before that was bland enough that I forgot about it. <laughs> It Anthem? Lo- yes. Yeah. It just looked like yeah. video game designed by committee sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah to totally. Uh, I, I mean, it I, looks fucking great. Like yeah. the technology yes. of it is really I hope good. That, yeah, I, yeah I, I hope that there's more to it than what we're seeing because I, I do, I like the idea, and I've said this a few times over the course of the show. A, a sort of a disaster movie tinged open world, I think, would be yeah. cool. Not just an open world set in a different time frame, yeah. but. You know, I like a. I still think like a fucking Godzilla that's in an open world yeah. would be fucking great. Yeah, like you have to get or around this big thing, thing fucking up the whole thing. It could really having work. Having yeah. a camp really in the cool. middle of the night somewhere where zombies aren't going to get to you or yes. whatever, yeah, like that yeah. sort yes. of thing. And it doesn't look like this will be that. This looks simpler than that. Yeah, right. well, yeah, or a little I, more. I really hope um, not. Traditional, I suppose, would be. Yeah, the maybe. Yeah. yeah, but I will say, in whatever capacity, I do think it looks. It, it looks slightly more interesting to me than it did last year. Yeah, I'll say that much. Sure. I yeah. Think it's the same for me, but it, that's yeah. you know who cares. Yeah. Uh, every game would be better if I designed it. Monster Hunter World. <laughs> that looks great, and I've yeah. never played one of those. But that so looks people cool. fucking love them. Yeah. I yeah. played a little bit of four, and well, they announced one for Switch. Yeah. Yes. Like, so that's in like two Japan. weeks ago, and people went crazy for that. Yes, mm. and that's, that's that's only in Japan at this right. stage. Right. Uh, and that's like an updated version of the most recent one that came out on the 3DS, I think. Right, right. right. That's the thing is like they're all over the place. They're one of those things where it's like yeah. there's four versions of each different one. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Um, uh, I know my brother really likes them. He's a big proponent of them. I okay. so And I t- tried the copy that he had and it's it seems good. They're very complex. It's right. one of those things where there's a lot of different – and so I stepped away from it for a while and just kind of couldn't get back in. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, people love them. And it's like a good looking PS4 one. Right. And mm-hmm. this is a, is it a PS4 exclusive? Uh, no. I, I, I think it's PS4 and Xbox and then PC at a later date. Oh, okay. Right. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, then, uh, but yeah, so we don't really know much about Monster Hunter, but people seem to love them. Yeah. yeah. Um, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's a remake, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. like a, just a, a remaster update yeah. Yeah. graphics thing. That game's good. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. I don't need to play it again personally, but that's sick if you've never played it. Yeah, it's I've never a really played good it. game. I'll yeah. probably go in. Yeah. yeah. I, I tried to play it maybe like two years ago and it looked not, like visually it wasn't yeah. enough to get me in. Well, so this will fix that and apparently they've got a new control system because yeah. that has also aged quite badly, I'd yes. imagine. Right, right. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Then so, yeah. it was uh, Call of Duty. Then uh, DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn, which yeah, that's cool. I'm now interested in because the story of that actually winds up pretty good. Yeah. And so, what's this? It, it's the uh, it's the fro- what's it called? The frozen. Uh, the frozen wilds. Wild. Yeah. yeah. That's what they call my genitals. <laughs> yeah. Christ. Does this expand the map up into another region? It will be another area. It, yeah. There's a pretty obvious thing that it could be about. After the end of the okay, first one, sure, possibly. Sure. So right. I'm assuming it's that, or it could just be a side thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. Uh, then a bunch of PlayStation VR stuff. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. Was, um, None of which really seemed to 
no take people's interest at all. There was a yeah. Skyrim thing. There were a couple of like side scrolling things. A little there fucking was mouse dude. Yeah, oh, yes. a little mouse yeah. boy, super hot. Which oh yeah, um, that looks cool. I've heard the VR version of that is really good. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 fishing. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which that actually looks fucking sick. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to probably Again, play that's that. what I yeah. mean. Take a game that people love and just throw yeah. in some little fucking weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. The blandest game I've ever seen, which was Bravo Team, which was oh, just yeah. like this fucking <laughs> like like a hazy memory of some <laughs> uh, military game. Yeah. And then some by the people who did um, – uh, uh, oh no! Oh fuck! My come brain on. fell out. Come on, Noxy. Until on. dawn. Oh, okay. Oh, Something yes. by those people called the Inpatient. Right. So that's cool for VR people. Pretty much take what you get at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, God of War was after that. That looks yeah. fucking awesome. To yes. Me. That looks cool. Yeah. 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 And and again, like, and much more so, better than it looked last year. Yeah. So and and even the trailer itself, like, as it got less like a Rise of the Tomb Raider ripoff, and mm. more like, oh yeah, God of War in an open world with actually interesting visuals and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It looks cool. It didn't. Seem to feature and correct me if I'm wrong and I just missed it. There wasn't a lot of mythical stuff. Uh, yeah, there. So there was Thor's hammer, right? Was fucking enormous, the size of a mountain, right? And there was the woman saying, "Hey, look, we got." Oh, maybe it was. Maybe it was like the little guy being like, "We have got a lot of fucking ancient gods here, and you're pissing them off or something." Right. He was right. like, "This isn't Greece. You ain't in your granddaddy's Greece now. You're fucking here <laughs> yeah. in general Nordic area." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because like, obviously, the best stuff about the God of War games was the giant fights against the gods and stuff. There will be that shit for sure. Yeah. That's got of like that. Yeah. And I'm a big sucker for some reason of really low voices. In video games of like huge animals, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that fucking yeah. snake thing going like, "How you doing?" Yeah, really. Cool. I think he's gonna help us, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm psyched for this. I really liked God of War three. Yeah, just like is one of my favorite games. And yeah, so why is this back to just being called God of War? Uh, it's kind of like a soft reboot type of thing. Okay. Yeah, because the God of War games were like. Be- 3D beat em ups. Like almost top yeah, down okay. kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And then like big set pieces that were all like quick time and like it's, it's hard to describe because there's not really any games like that around yeah, right, currently. Right. Sort of, I mean, like a kind of a proto Batman Arkham Asylum sort of thing. Yeah, mixed with, yeah, like set pieces where you're climbing up a giant god's yeah. leg. Okay. And, yeah, yeah. Um, they were really and so cool. This, and this they told like to a be very. Like that. They told a complete story. Mm. Uh, and so this is the same. Person and he's but he's just living somewhere else and trying to forget his past. And okay, yeah, cool. it looks like a totally different gameplay. Yeah. Style. And sounds like a so, cool yeah. point to jump in on. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Never. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it looked cool. Uh, yeah. It looks great. Destiny Two was after that. Yep. I like Destiny One. This looks yep. like more of that. So sick. Yeah. <laughs> That's really all there is that yep. I have to say about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, I want to move through some of these other ones before we get to this other one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was the plan. <laughs> Why do we put him in charge I don't of the know. list? Because I've got the fucking list on my smashed phone screen. Uh, Nino Cooney two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Re- I loved Nino Cooney. I thought yeah. it was fantastic, and this looks great as well. Uh, I always think Nin- of Mila Nino Kunis. Cooney more like you do cummy. <laughs> It's all right, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yep. <laughs> Appreciate the speed, if not the accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's that remake of Final Fantasy XII. There's a new Final Fantasy XIV thing. Knack 2. Yes. Oh, God. Gran Turismo Sport. That's a driving game. Yep. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which right. is basically Marvel, Marvel Capcom Injustice. Injustice. Some people But looks worse. Psyched on. None, none of us <laughs> particularly care for that. I'll, I'm going to probably play it. Yes, I, I'm going to play it. It, but it's not it's not my favorite thing I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. So and then this is really the last thing was uh, Spider Man. Okay. Okay. So people went pretty crazy for this. They went yeah. bananas. Yeah. yeah. They went ape. <laughs> <laughs> they went. I said bananas, which is different <laughs> to a. <laughs> they went fucking berserk. Yes. Um, I was pretty underwhelmed Same. by what we saw. I yeah. was not. <laughs> I think I thought it looks great. It kind of reminded me of Watch Dogs 2 but with a web slinging. In, in what way Watch Dogs 2? Uh, the kind of vertical traversal and like right. all, all Maybe the like I didn't play enough Watch Dogs 2. interaction with the environment to kind of get your enemies. Right. Um, so I thought the yeah. very and again this just comes back to this just showing 8 minutes of gameplay yeah. instead of kind of 
you know, hitting us with a bit of, you know, a big kind of four minutes of sizzle. Yeah. It The start of it, I was like, oh, okay, I see how this works. And it seemed like, to me, my, my touchstone was sort of the combat of sleeping dogs. Yeah. Which I which I quite liked, the hand-to-hand combat system in yep. that. Yeah. And even and in sleeping dogs, there's a lot of environmental, like, smashing people into fucking fans yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. This looked like it had a bit of that. Yeah. That lasted for maybe a minute and then... It was just like we were watching a cut scene yeah. where every now and then it's like, oh, tap X real quick or this thing's going to fall on you. So yeah. And I just thought showing off that as like that being your big reveal, like leaning on that so much in the chunk that yeah. you're showing off. I'm sure the whole game's not like that, yeah. but they I just thought that was today. a dud of a – that was a – to me personally, I felt like that was a dud of a I, I, I right. completely agree. And one of the developers said in a very damage control-y way something mm. about this today where he said something to the effect of – that is not the game. We use those action sequences to accentuate certain moments or whatever. Well, sure, and yeah. I, I, like create I, a cinematic thing. And yeah, who, but, but this is your big, and you know, this is what I think Nintendo, which we'll get to in a minute, has done really well this yeah. year. Is they had their presentation where they showed trailers, and then they're doing their streaming stuff where you're watching yeah. someone just run around and play it. If the person just running around and playing it was all you had, you'd be like, okay, so yeah, you know. Well, so this might sound a little like. Um, uh, Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Fat>. sure. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I have a feeling about this game that I can't really prove. Okay. I guess you could say my spidey senses <laughs> oh my are goodness. tingling. Yes. But that whole demo looked like a trick to me. It looked right. like that wasn't actually the game running in the state that it's in yet, which that's fair. That happens with a lot of E3 sure. things. Right. But and the, they never said at the start like, this no, is pure gameplay not. footage. No, no, no. But <laughs> I, it looked letters. like it was broken and won't work to me to the point. So, like, oh right, the I combat, completely disagree. The combat looked really Batman-y, which yes. that's fine. The environmental stuff was used at such specific times in such a rehearsed manner. Mm. Yeah, by the person playing it. That, again, that's E three demo, but it just it looked like it would be something that you can't really think about and is basically a button prompt. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it will either be there or not. So it's not like you can manoeuvre your way to that. Do you know what I mean? I, I do. I, I, yeah, I understand so what that you was, mean. Then the, the swinging bit looked like it almost broke in the bit that they showed. There was one bit where he ran against a wall that had like one of those New York staircase outside the building. Yeah, fire yeah. escape, boy. Where yeah. it like kind of just for a second went... Bruh! Like and nearly hit yeah, against right. it, and it just looked a bit fucked. Oh, in, I, d- in I a, didn't think that at all. I thought it was. I was just going just like, oh yeah. It's just completely just a sense that I got from it from uh, yeah, having I, seen similar demos of stuff in the past, I guess, yeah. and then those games turning out kind of bad. I kind of right. agree with you when you'd go, and I know they've had success with a, a sort of a Spider-Man action game yeah. on the PlayStation Two. Yeah, but when you when you're scaling it up and wanting it to be as good as it can be on on this great hardware. I do worry about the logistics of, mm. you know, the appeal being you can just jump off a building and then shoot a web and fly wherever. Yeah. I do kind of go, fuck, is that – because that's got to be really precise. Yeah. For that well, to be fun, that's got to be like, you know, bang on. Yeah. yeah. I just so, thought it, it looked like it was. And like I've seen – like Just Cause 3 does it and Batman does it. I can see how it would work. Yeah. With, with That's with just like kind of flying though. It's a weirdly different yeah. thing for, for some reason. Yeah. But um, yeah, there was just... I guess just the other thing is too, like Just Cause 3 is like a... It's kind of a tropical setting. Yeah. I just... I know this... I know that's where Spider-Man is set, but I just kind of also thought... It's just a city. It just looks. Yeah. It just looks boring. There like, was yeah. there was something about it that seemed off to me, and like there's no way of knowing this until it comes out. I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt because yeah. a game that Willem did Defoe. for Spider Man, <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to vote to give it the benefit of the. Uh, the You're willing to give it the benefit of. I'm Defoe. willing to give it the. <laughs> That's the one. You James want. Franco of Defoe. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was in that movie? Uh, Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire, Kirsten Dunst. If that game comes out on a Monday and you don't like it, you're going to be a regular Andrew Garfield over there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not wow. Kirsten Dunst with this game wow. completely. Oh. But you know, <laughs> I really. I, I was Harry Osborne ready for this game. <laughs> uh, no, dude, I'm not going to be Tom Holland out for it too much. <laughs> I'm just going to be Green Goblin it up. You know. Well. <laughs> I'm going to be hobgobbling it down. Oh. I want to suck off Dr. Octagon. <laughs> Dr. Octagon. Dr. Octagon. <laughs> um, oh, we had fun just then. <laughs> anyway, I hope real. the game can live up to that riff. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't think anything can. 
<laughs> yeah, that's there's just that's up there. Someone, I, I want the greatest hits of great riffs on this show. Oh, that's I up don't. there with our Assassin's Creed oh, when we were yeah. talking about Egypt <laughs> for about five minutes the other week. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> that could go either way. That game, as as far as I can tell, because it's yeah. weird that it's like a big thing there, and it's meant to be coming out next year, <clears> and I've seen no actual footage of someone playing it. Yeah, just that thing. I don't know. It just it got it got my. Is it, it on the floor? Like, because the because sh- I don't is- think it is. Okay, right. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. Right. That's not that's not a great sign. But Insomniac have made good games. They're the Ratchet and Clank True. people. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's I'd the one thing that's giving me hope is that I'm yeah. more than happy to be proven wrong with it. But just mm-hmm. right now, I'm feeling a little bit antsy. And oh. Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, last I want to go on record and say I think it looks really good, and I'm excited for it. Well, flip a coin at this point. Why? Because I want to know <laughs> whether or You're not I should make a separate decision. <laughs> i got to say, it's just nice to be in the majority of, of a viewpoint on this show. It feels good, like, right? I, know, I, I now feel yeah. like... I, like the, anyway, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, we've got one last big hitter. Oh, yeah. Hanging around here. And it's a little company that rhymes with Nintendo <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I guess it's still a rhyme. Yeah. A I, word yeah. still rhymes with itself. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, bit self, that rhymes with itself. <laughs> I'll forget what. Wow. So this was the one that. presentation that I actually, the, the timing of where I was worked out and I, I sat up and watched it all live. Yeah. So it was a 25 minute presentation which i was a little bit like okay they're showing a bit of arms they're showing a bit of splatoon 2 i mean i was i was worried i because a couple weeks beforehand they'd done that pokemon thing yeah and that was about five minutes long and they were like pocket tournament on the switch now yeah and also ultra moon and ultra sun yeah Yeah. which are and they also basically they i mean the fact that the fact that uh the Rabbids thing had been announced as part of Ubisoft. Yeah. Uh, Bethesda had already talked about Skyrim. Yeah. I kind of thought, because this was the thing they were saying, it's 25 minutes long and the 3DS is going to get a lot of love and we're focusing on stuff for 2017. Yeah. Yeah. I And with these guys, I really was, I, I really wanted them to wild out, but I was also keeping my expectations very low and I went, you know what? Yeah. All, the main thing will be we'll find out a bit more about how Mario Odyssey actually plays and the structure of it. Yeah. That's all we get. Great. So they started up with basically kind of a trailer for kind of competitive yeah. playing on the on the Switch in which they drop that Rocket League's on there, yep. which has been rumoured for a bit. And that's great. I yeah. think that's great for this. It's It makes perfect sense to be on that system. Yep. It's big online, but being able to play it in a room with other people on a Switch is great. And that's got cross-platform with people on Xboxes yes. and PCs as yeah. well, And, which and is cool. of course, a whole bunch of dumb Nintendo. You can put a little Mario hat on your car, which yeah. is yeah. cool. <laughs> I already own that game on PS4. I'll definitely still get it again mm. on this. For I being am able exactly to the same. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, with PC. That's, that's great for them. It's a great move. I mean, uh, Rocket League, the Twitter account, a while ago put out a cryptic like, oh, yeah, we're thinking about it and it just mm. has seemed like... Maybe we'll put our game on this massively <laughs> successful yeah. console. Yeah. Yeah. It seems tailor-made for this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they... So that so that happens and it's and you know just flashy well produced little trailer where one you one of go, those okay. new new school Nintendo ads yeah. where it's like yeah. people playing it in situations you would never be in yes yes like we're in the kitchen at work but starting, slacking off that's starting to kind of rub me the wrong way like yeah. the boxers Dude. playing arms like fucking not that's not yeah. who's playing these oh there's games. a great rock stars yeah. didn't the guy like whip it out on the soccer pitch or something yeah, yeah. Was a bit of yes. that in there? yeah. I yes. don't remember that yeah. it was yeah, yeah it was I hope they FIFA. just keep cranking it up and at some point it's pie Pilots mid-flight, <laughs> just whipping out this switch to play pilot wings or something. I yeah. mean, I still think you surgeons. Know, <laughs> as dumb as it is, I did think it was a bit of a, a a bit of a breath of fresh air after you know all of these presentations of guys just getting up in suits and going, "Uh, here's what we're here to show," <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and then just playing the game in front of an auditorium yeah. for eight minutes, just starting your presentation with a big like, "Boom, here we are," kind yeah. of thing. Uh, and then Reggie kind of did <sighs> a bit of. Did a bit of he Apple bloody style. Bloody it on for well, a bit. <laughs> yeah. Was that before or after they showed the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 trailer? I think they went straight into that and then Reggie popped his little head in. Yeah, I maybe. think you might be right. So Xenoblade yeah. is this year. Yeah. Uh, I think it looks great. I think it looks really great too. Yeah. yeah. So I never this, played so the original one yeah, on the yeah. Wii. This is what I forward sizzled, what, like two hours ago right. now? Right. The, God, I hope they are quicker to put a patch for the original voice acting yes. language. 
why in this trailer are they all like super British chavy sounding people? Yeah. It well, just, you've been saying the word chav a lot. I guess that was what the sizzle thing was about though. Looked, now I understand. Yeah. It looked so <laughs> weird. Yeah. It looked really, it seemed really weird to I me. I didn't really notice. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's because it's your native tongue. Yeah. 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 Uh you were just wrapped up in all the banter that was going on in the trailer. <laughs> well, you'd had a pint of lager. I yeah, to me that that seemed weird. But yeah, the rest of it looks great. Yeah, I yeah. was always I heard the first one on the Wii U was really good. I never got around to playing well, it. Well, so the first one was on the Wii, and yes. the one on the Wii U was like a side story that was nothing to do with it apparently. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. And then this one is the sequel to the Wii one. Yeah. Which right. I think was also redone on the three D S. Right. I'm saying this having never played any of them. I could but be. But this wrong. looks great. This yeah. is out uh this is out this year. Um, I don't. Th- I, I as far as I know, it doesn't. I don't think it has the hugest following in the West, but it is. It's yeah. pretty big in Japan. Yeah. So this sure. is a big thing for their calendar. For the, like, it's easy yeah. to sit here and go, uh, get to the other stuff. But for them, in terms of like, you know, E three being a trade show and business and stuff, this is yeah. pretty yeah. huge yeah. for them. That oh, that's I mean, like, out. you know, I, I yeah, been playing Persona Five, and I was, I, you know. Jumped back in on FF8 recently. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, and it's like, it looks like a great JRPG. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm really yeah. into it. I'm excited to go in. Yeah. yeah. I hope that something like that works on the Switch in a portable manner. You know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, when we sort of first saw Zelda, I was worried, like, how is this sure. big world yeah, going to translate? Yeah, and I yeah. totally, I, same with ARMS, like, it's definitely like I'm still yet to play it on the TV, but and it and it, it definitely is like not the most ideal way to play it. Yeah, but it and does whatever. Still, I'm not going paragliding. It, like yeah, I don't need to. It does yeah. still it does still work. Like yeah. it does yeah. still work. Surprising. Like you do get a surprising amount of detail out of that screen. Mm. It's a real nice screen on that. Yeah. Thing. Um. So then, yeah. So then Reggie, Reggie, fucking. Gets up and parrots on. Yeah. Bit of cool background thing where he's in his house and then it turns yeah, into a field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bloody hell. He's on the um, hollow deck. So they turns then, out Reggie can teleport. Mm-hmm. I believe they then went into Kirby. A little bit of the old pink blob. Yeah, yeah. they which That's what they call my genitals. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they did wowie. a bit of a tease in that trailer where they're like, every now and then you need a hero. And I was oh, like, yes. I and, and this is where I start getting tense and I'm going, oh what? What fucking lame third party thing, <laughs> yeah. indie thing that no one cares about. Yeah. Bart Simpson fighting game. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. Uh, I thought this looked really cool. I haven't played a proper Kirby platformer in ages. It looked like a real, real Kirby game. And and then, I like that it's just called fucking Kirby. Yeah. yeah. So, it's the era of reboots. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think this is cool because they haven't really put out a, a kind of dinky die Kirby game on a on a console because the Switch is technically a console in a long time. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They've There's mostly been, some been on 3DS. The 3DS. Ones and stuff, right? There was yeah. that uh, drawing one on the on the Wii U. Right. Yeah. Was there one on the Wii? Epic Yarn, right? Epic Yarn, oh, yeah. Yes. This is what I mean, just a straight up your yeah. Kirby. And it looked four players playing together, Yeah, all the costumey stuff. It, You yeah. know, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it's – and so like that's, fun, for, that's for 2018. Game? So that was yeah. the first kind of thing of like yeah. – which then they follow that up with a new Yoshi trailer, yep. which – I watched that trailer again. I don't think that looks like a fun game. It looks – Really good, the graphics. You reckon? Of it. I think so. I, I love that into cardboard it. thing that they do. I was with not it. into the cardboard. Yeah, right. You yeah. see me? I'm a simple man with simple pleasures. Okay. Give me cardboard. Cut a hole in it. And <laughs> cut a hole in it. <laughs> put some popcorn go. in there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, I like, I don't know. I, I, I like what they do visually with these Yoshi games. I really wish they would just get back to the style of Yoshi's Island. Yeah, like, I'm I with you that I've that, never enjoyed a Yoshi game, yeah. I don't think. Yeah. That drawing, yeah, they, they're fine. They're. They're little, you know, they're, they're yeah. there to fill a gap. They're, totally. they're yeah. fine for what they are. If I, had a kid, I think the main mistake yeah. of that trailer was I rewatching the Kirby one and then rewatching that one. Yeah. The Yoshi one doesn't have that same impact because it's got that really light music in it. Yeah. The Kirby one has really like action music yeah. with a beat that makes it seem more dynamic and yeah, fun. Right. And the Yoshi's just walking around. It's Yoshi, like, bum, bum, it's just got bum, whistling and it's bum, like, bum, it just doesn't, bum. it just doesn't yeah. make it look dynamic or interesting at all. Yep. Like it makes it seem like a, a 10 second yeah. mobile app, but yeah. it all, you know what? It Kirby looks like it's nearly ready to go. Yoshi looks mm. like it's, I, I think that's, I reckon Yoshi's a fair way off. They've been yeah, playing right. it on the treehouse thing. Oh, really? And okay. And it looks like it's a game. Right. Okay, sure. And they both said 2018 at the end of their Which, again, I think like is just them trying to go, look, we've got more up our sleeve. Yeah, but, totally. And again, People for like something the where they said they were just yeah. going to be focusing on yeah. 2017, yeah. I thought that was a nice surprise to just go, yeah. oh, look, you know, these aren't world beaters, but they're, but, you know, we are, we've got stuff on the well, go. Well, and then yeah. they 
pretty much literally just said, hey, we're making another thing. Yeah. It's, they cut to that dude in his office. Yes. Oh, he, yeah. He the just Pokemon. looks down the fucking barrel yeah. of the camera and goes, yeah. yeah, man, of course we're making more Pokemon. Yeah. You, yeah. Oh, you think we're see fucking you idiots? <laughs> Would you get get out of my point, office. At this point, we've gotten some good stuff. But again, we know this presentation is only 25 minutes long. At this point, yeah. it's like nine minutes in. Yeah. And they cut to this fucker at his drawing board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drawing Pikachu, hey, getting his like dick sucked. Sort of <laughs> I call him... Cramsteed. <laughs> he's a shell. He's a chest of drawers, but he's great. a Pokemon. That's great. I've done it again, everyone. I've fucking <laughs> yeah. done it again. But they he... told me I couldn't come up with 150 more. <laughs> yeah. See, what I've done here is I took a lion and I put cat ears on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> but I... I call him Buttress. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting stressed out. Do you know what he point. says? <laughs> Buttress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he... the genius at work. He, like, yeah, so they cut to him and the, f- the first thing he says is he just starts talking about Pokken tournament and yeah. I'm watching the clock going... We look fucking get kicked because I'm going. I want yeah. more. I want more. Bon- like I'm like okay. We've set. I'm we've about to finish. Come on. <laughs> 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 they've set us up with a bit of you know. They've put Yoshi and Kirby yeah. early. They're going to build up. Just get yeah. to the fucking get. Just get set to the, the money world shot. on fire. Yeah. yeah. Um. So then. Then they do. Then yeah. they do. Yeah. And again, th- this is very un them. I yeah. would yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. So swirling kind of background yeah. kind of galaxy. A four. A four. Looking phase. Well, and then like the the. The menu music from the original Metro right. Prime is what right. was behind that. That little like, like radio yeah. stuff. Yeah, and then the words Metroid Prime Four in yeah. stylized logo. Yep, and then down the bottom in Times New Roman is currently in development. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the end. Yeah, someone clearly beforehand went. Do you reckon people are going to get confused by this? <laughs> that is Put some Times New Roman on there. The weirdest. I saw a really good Photoshop move from them. Yeah, of that four. Where it was Metroid Prime Federation Force, <laughs> which I, I liked. That's because yeah, it's so weird for them to not even make just a stylized trailer that won't have anything to do with the actual game. I mean, they did that yeah. for yeah. Zelda, you know, for yeah. Wii U when the Wii U was like first announced. Yeah, that didn't end up having but anything that was, to do with that the game. That was even more than this, though. You know, like that's what I mean. That yeah, was yeah, a yeah, exactly. motion. It's yeah. weird. That's that's my point. It's right, weird for them yeah. to literally just have. It's, it's one thing to have the Pokemon guy going, oh, we're working on something. Yeah. It's another thing to go to the effort of mocking up a yeah. moving logo thing and yeah. then not have yeah. two seconds of Samus firing a gun at it something. It must yeah, be yeah. really fucking early on. Yeah. It must be really early on and I do wonder, is this... I, I do wonder once E3 starts how reactionary the companies are about what's happened because this seemed to me like maybe at the last minute they went, fuck it, we got to put it in. Yeah. We've got to put something in. Could be. Yeah. Because later down the line they did announce a uh, Metroid for three DS. Yes. So maybe it was some, maybe it was a last minute thing of like they don't fuck, want pe- we don't yeah. want people to think this is the only Metroid thing yeah. we're doing. Yeah. And people would have been happy with that. Sure. But I'm um, yeah, that's sick. I'm stoked about that. Yeah. yeah. I actually that's and cool. I liked I liked the way they did it. I like yeah. it. They just were yeah. like, Yeah, it's coming. I yeah. yeah, I like that tone of just being like, Yes. Yeah. All right, fucking yes. here you go. Because like this we've speculated about a, a new Metroid for yeah. a year and a half yeah. at least. Yeah. And already, you know, already as a you know, as a big Nintendo fan who's been let down by most of their presentations they've done in the last couple of years. Yeah. This is the shit. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm already sitting here going. This is what you want. Yeah. Some big announcements. Like it's exactly what we've discussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they take a little bit of a dip for a couple of them and it's like Fire Emblem Warriors. Which, oh, yeah. But yeah. again, that's still a, yeah. that's a popular franchise somewhere, so yeah. it makes sense. Totally. That, yeah, uh, they show off that uh, Zelda Breath of well, Don't show it off, but they kind of – it made it look like the Breath of the Wild DLC is going to be – Oh, they, they, they actually showed it. it they, they showed yeah, – They yeah. haven't showed anything in-game. That's true. They, they showed some it. of the stuff that's coming out soon – and then, like, for the second thing, it was just, like, those four... It looks like it's going to be set in the past. Yeah, so... Oh, it's, yeah, the so champions. And, yeah. and, oh, and a date. So that's out in, like, two weeks. That the, first pack. The first one yeah. is, yeah. So yeah. that's cool. That that Cave of Trials looks cool. Yeah. Like, I'm the way that's set up. I'm definitely going to play that game That again. looks interesting. Yeah, the the actually showing what the hit... Like, the path of where you've walked. That's looks, fucking oh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, they yeah. showed a little bit of in-game of, like, you wearing the Korok... Yes. Uh, mask, mask and the different yep. armor. That yep. looks really cool. The announcement of the champions, Amiibo going they, alongside them. Those Amiibo are so well designed. They look yeah, fucking awesome. They look great. Yeah. There's yeah. a couple of Metroid ones as well yeah. that look so sick. This, this is the first time where they've announced a block of Amiibo where I'm into all of it. I yeah, think right. they're actually starting to kind of do it really <coughs> well. Because mm. yeah. in the past it was just like, all right, well, we're starting it with Smash Brothers, so we'll just bring out every character. And it's like, well, I don't give a fuck about every character in that game. Yeah. i got to buy Marth. Yeah, yeah and then all of a sudden Knight. it was like, 
oh, we're bringing out a Mario line because Mario Party 10's coming out and it'll right. unlock stuff in that. And I was yeah. like, well, I've already got a Mario one from the Smash Brothers line and yeah. I don't, I'm not getting Mario Party 10, so I don't care. Also, just the quality of them has yeah. mm. looks like it's been upped a lot. Yeah, mm. so this this all of a sudden going, oh, hey, these now that you've finished the game or you're at least in the game enough to know what these characters are, yeah. You probably want a little thing of them. Yep. Here they are. Like yep. they're finally yeah. kind of, I think, doing it in like a kind of an, a really interesting way. Yeah. And, and yeah, I definitely will get all four of them. Yeah. They look great. Yeah. Just then, really quickly before we get to the big boy as well, mm-hmm. there's one more uh, thing they announced. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Yeah. Which is a remake of the Game Boy Advance game for yeah. the 3DS with a little extra bit. Really, I played a little bit of it at the time and it's really good. So yeah, yeah, it really looks funny. cool. Yeah, Cool style. That That's yeah. cool. Oh, and the other Metroid game, but you already mentioned that. Yes, That's Samus Returns. Which is... Metroid uh, 2. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Looks great. And Can I quickly, just before we get into the big boy, yeah. th- there's something, the, the interesting thing about Metroid Prime 4 is that was the big rumour was, uh, you know, Retro, uh, yes. they're working on it, yeah. they haven't shown anything for years. It's not being made by Retro, no. it's yeah. being made in-house. It's yeah. the same producer as the other ones, it's yeah. like the only link. Yeah. Which, so now the big question is, well, what, are retro, what have Retro been doing? Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, we'll, there'll be more to talk I reckon we're going to get a direct towards the, maybe the end of the year. I reckon oh, yeah. they've got sure. – I reckon what they're working on is the next big single-player thing yeah, for right. 2018. And that I th- must yes. be nearly ready to go because it's been I agree, three and, a half yeah. years and or I think it'll probably be a completely new thing too. Yeah, right. Well, I, I, I still think it could be F-Zero. Um, yeah, that's an. I think that's an maybe. interesting theory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't Nintendo know this have been loving doing their new stuff lately, though, with Splatoon and with Arms and everything. But they want to. They want to milk Arms for a bit. That's true. And I they, don't think they're yeah. going to give that out to another studio. They've just been talking yeah. a lot of stuff of like we want to do more new things. Yeah, yeah. But so, that's, but so yeah. Th- that's I, so I was sort of I was doing my research the other day when we were chatting about this. Retro have never done an original property, and they have done Mar- Mario Kart Seven. Mm. And right, F-Zero so is the one that hasn't yeah. been handed off to anyone or is not in development. Yeah, I think it's way more likely for I think it's way more likely for them to be given the keys to an existing property yeah. than it is for them for Nintendo to go like, hey, come up with a new thing and, and it's, we'll it do seems it. like none of us think it's likely that it'll be another Donkey Kong. I think if it is, I would think it's maybe three D. Or like a yeah. fucking Donkey Kong RPG or some shit. Because this like. is yeah. what they're doing. I mean, Breath of the Wild, huge game, really popular. Mario Odyssey, which we're about to get to, looks massive. I think that's a big focus for them is having these big franchises and having big single player. Yeah. Because I think they found that whether they expected this or not, people, people fucking loved playing Breath of the Wild, this huge game on the bus, yeah. you know, taking it with them on holidays, on their commutes. Or oh, so just I playing it on the Wii U was cool <laughs> as well. <laughs> so I think that's going to start to become a big part of their strategy of, yeah. okay, well, let's – people kind of want this. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think that's the only reason to have not announced it yet yeah. is because if it was – honestly, if it was just a 3D – if it, so if it was a 2D Donkey Kong, why not just put it in the – Presentation alongside yeah. Kirby, and it, it, I reckon it's something really big, which is why yeah. they're holding out because they don't need it right now. Other yeah. notable exceptions, I guess, were nothing about Smash Brothers. Yep, which either means they wanted to get out of the way and want Pock and Tournament to like have a bit yeah. of time, yeah. to breathe, and or, arms, yeah. yeah, or they're doing a fucking full on. New one, yep. yeah. rather than the update thing, which seems unlikely given what's come out for that so far, and also yeah. nothing about like Super Mario Maker or whatever. But yeah, that yeah, yeah. Wasn't I'm ever starting expected. to think that won't happen. Probably not. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, so then a trailer starts up that is a dinosaur kind of running through a through oh, the, yeah. through through a forest or whatever. Yes. Which I, I don't know. Did you guys immediately know what it was? No. I kind no. of thought I I again, and I thought the same thing with the first. Mario Odyssey trailer in January, I thought, oh, this is Donkey Kong. This is like oh, a new saw a T-Rex right. and you're like, fuck, man, there's Donkey Kong. <laughs> I was kind of like, are they showing is. another Monster Hunter game? I yeah. thought Monster Hunter yeah. as well, yeah, because yeah. there was that Switch one. Yeah. yeah. So. And so, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, a little hat appears <laughs> on the T-Rex and then we go into just a real fucking balls-to-the-wall Mario Odyssey trailer. Yeah. Like, my God, that <laughs> trailer is so fucking good. It's uh. it that game looks really good. So uh, like, 
I didn't like the song. I'll I'll put that out there. Really? I don't I don't yeah. remember the song. So yeah, it was I guess it sounded I like either. a song written about Mario jumping around the world. It is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really cheesy, but it, yeah, it it's grown on me the more I've and like I said, I like yeah. that more than I like some of the shitty pop and rock music choices of yeah. other things. I yeah. kind of like that they're fucking leaning into Mario's cheesiness too. Yeah, and yeah. making it weird and dumb and like. Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic Adventure was, mm. but yeah. that took itself so seriously yeah. in a weird way. Yeah, and this right. is just like, this is goofy. Who gives so a shit? So the mechanic yeah. of this, which they showed off a heap of in the trailer yeah. and which we hadn't seen any of before, you basically, using Mario's hat, you can Cappy. possess... Yes, Cappy. Well, well, so a ghost Cappy. who lives in Mario's yeah. hat. Yeah. You can possess, it seems like... Heaps of st- you can possess Goombas. You yep. can possess. There's a bit where he's swimming around as a cheap cheap. He's yep. a car. He's, he's a taxi he's a at one car. point. He's yeah, a real yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he um, pos- he possesses uh, electrical spark on a yes. power line to yeah. move. Yeah, yes. that looked. Really he possesses cool. just fucking people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just steals human bodies. Yeah, that spark thing that, yes. you, that you, it seems like you use that to get around a fair bit. That's yeah. a that's a reuse of a mechanic from Splatoon in the single player. Oh. You you can jump into a little pipe and kind of move around. Oh, it right. reminded it, me it, of the sparks that were in the Game Boy version of Donkey Kong where you had to... Oh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So, right. yeah, we see a lot more of this now and then they went into the treehouse where they played it a little bit more. Yeah, they each, played it a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they're still, they're still doing it each day. Right. Um, so it's weird, right? You can, you can get... Each kingdom has its own different currency. Yes. You can dress up in different costumes. We oh, saw yes. a bunch of them. And... It really looks like a few months ago when we did our uh, our Bandcamp episode about all the Mario games, yeah. all the 2D Mario games at least, when we got to uh, Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy, we were talking about how much of a weird game that is where he goes to like the moon and he goes to like weird pumpkin Halloween yeah. land and yeah, he's yeah, inside yeah. a clock yeah, and yeah. he's in the three pigs house or whatever. And we were sort of lamenting that it's a bit of a shame that they don't really – go that crazy with the worlds in Mario games anymore yep. and it's very much like here's the water world, here's the ice world yeah. and this it seems like they're they're making a fucking weird Mario game. Totally. Yeah. I and couldn't like, be happier. The yeah. thing that fucked with me about it, like that mechanic of the hat, I get that yep. because like that's sort of like wearing a suit yeah. a, a bit like in 3 or whatever. Mm. I kind of get the thing that fucked with my head with this is that Mario's kind of walking around getting quests off of people. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like he's going around doing a bit of like, and not that I have a problem with it. It looks like a weird combination of like it. Parts of it look like three D world, yeah, where yeah. it's that sort of angle, that sort of platforming that it looks like you're doing. Then parts of it look like this whole other fucking new thing. Yeah, yes, like another new type of it where you're walking well, around and going like, "Hey, man, you need any plumbing done?" Well, it looks a bit like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, so on, on a smaller scale. Yeah, there, that, for that's, sure. that's what I was saying last week. Is that you know people they've been saying, "Oh, it's the you know it's it's Mario sixty four kind of style. It's back to that." Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I was sort of going. Well, you can't just do that now where it's like yeah. a world with 10 stars in it. No one gives a fuck about that now in yeah. 2017. Right. So how do you make the 2017 version of that? But you know what? And, like, and this is how, like, and from people yeah. that have been playing it on the show floor, people are saying there, and yeah, Breath of the Wild style, there is yeah. stuff hidden everywhere in yeah. this. Like it yep. really is. And the, the big thing that's gone from Mario 64 is that it's no longer you get a star and then you're kicked out of the level. You get, I think they're moons in yeah, this. Yes. Moons. You get a moon and then you just keep going. Like yeah. you can just, yeah. so I guess it's, uh, no, it's kind of like finishing a mission in GTA, I or guess. Or like Banjo-Kazooie was that. Yeah. It, was it, it, did you stay in the level? Or I thought yeah. you got kicked out. No, oh, okay. you, you stayed in that. And it, it's more like Jack and Daxter or one of those things. Yeah, yeah. Where you walk around and there's people in the world who are like, man, I got this problem. And it's a slightly different mechanic to what you were doing before. Yeah. But can yep. you help me out with it? And but then it also yeah. seems like that they showed off bits where you go into a pipe and then you're a little you're a little painting on the wall and yes, you're doing a little two really D cool. sprite like th- that, that trailer intense, was just yeah. <laughs> and I think you know what's so impressive is they you know they 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 premiered this game in January you know we all thought it looked great even then yeah. and we now know they weren't even showing us what the core yeah. mechanic yeah. is I reckon this rollout has just been so masterful in like to to just to just not show the biggest part of the game yeah. and it still look amazing is pretty is pretty fucking remarkable. The uh, the mayor of New Donk City is Pauline. Yeah. Who yes. was Mario's girlfriend from the original Donkey yeah. Kong, yeah. which is fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. New Donk City looks great as well. Yeah. Like a, like a full on New York style 
open world platforming and city. Fuck, it looks yeah. great. Yeah. I was watching one bit of gameplay where someone was at like sort of the highest point, and you could see down and see that it's this square. Yeah, yeah, and, you right. Know, yeah. It's this Mario level. Yeah. Um, with you know a background to it, but and I, Donkey Kong is definitely. In this yeah, somewhere, if they like fucking they've, call it New Donk City, and they've got like Dixie the Lane and whatever. Well, they've, asked the, yeah. they've asked the director, and he's been typically coy Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, about I've, it. I haven't spoken to Donkey Kong in a while. <laughs> yeah, um, and I also think it's exciting because you sort of go, you know, Breath of the Wild. They that what was remarkable about getting that game was how little of it they'd shown us. Like yeah. we, once we started playing it, we were like, yeah. fuck, they did a good job of keeping this under wraps. Yep. Meanwhile, this they, it feels like they are showing off so much. And I've watched like 40, 50 yeah. minutes of footage of gameplay. And yeah. they've shown like three levels pretty in detail. Yeah, like yeah. The city and the, uh, the Mexican desert. Mexican town. Tostorado's level. Whatever yeah. it's Another called. one, like a forest or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've watched cool. the, the woodland level. There's part level, of me yeah. going... Oh, are they fucking this and are they ruining the surprise? But then also realizing, no, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Like if they're showing so, this yeah. much yeah. off, this game must be huge. That's yeah. the only way that this game could not be disappointing. It it still it looks like it'll be good. Yeah, yeah. But kind of under under well, hit my expectations. Right, is by only having like, like seven levels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. And I think what was really interesting too is that they're not, you know, th- this presentation and everything they're showing off. They're not leaning into the gimmick of the console or the gimmick yeah. of the controls. It's literally just here are the games yeah. to the point where I watched that trailer and was like, oh my God, that's like one of the best things I've ever seen. I cannot wait to play this game. I'm so excited. And it was like not until like lunchtime the next day that I was thinking about it and I went, Oh fuck, and it's portable too. Like I'll be yeah, able yeah. to play. Like there was no thing of There's like. There's a couple of yeah. little bits where like you have to move the controller to throw your hat in a circle and stuff like that. I think they've right. they've said that. They think you should play it on two Joy-Con held separately. I'm never going to do that. But but then also they've brought out a thing. You can find it on the internet somewhere. They've they've brought out a thing of like all the different control schemes and how they work, <laughs> right. and it's all mapped to all the certain buttons. Sure. Like yeah, th- that's kind of what they want you to do. Which of course they'd say that because they're they've that's the Joy Cons are yeah. they yeah. have to justify all the stuff in the Joy Con, but it doesn't look like it's going to be an arms thing where it yeah. dramatically changes the experience. It's definitely yeah. out a little earlier than I thought it'd be. Yes. Yeah, that's huge too. Yeah. yeah, that's huge. Yeah, um, like by a couple months almost. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it'd be like mid December or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so October twenty seven. The amiibo look great. Mm. Yeah, wedding wedding themed. Oh amiibo. yeah. <laughs> the, all the enemies are like a wedding planning yes. thing, yeah. which is kind of cool. Again, like new enemies and yeah. like a weird story-ish kind of thing. Yeah. And it, it really is cool to see them just, yeah, yeah. go a bit crazy. Swinging for the fences. Yeah, yeah, I really hope that because it does look like such a good thing, I hope that it, it is big. Yeah, yes. you know, if being it, if able it, to totally. drive yeah. around as a cab and run around as a dinosaur, like yeah. man, it looks yeah, it looks really fun. Um, yeah. and good on for finding another fucking way to make Mario do something new. Mm. Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. Yeah, the the I mean, there's not really any 3D games that that are bad in terms of critical consensus with the Mario games. I think the closest yeah. that you'd come is Sunshine, which people just don't yeah. love because it's a bit of a departure. But even that, yeah. people don't. Hate it. Like, there's very few franchises where you can. That probably holds up better now with all these other games being out rather yeah. than at the time going, like, oh, I wanted 64 too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, so, yeah, I think that looks really great. You know, there are a lot of people, I know you're one of them, Ben, and mm. I, I'm kind of one of them too, thinking that maybe there'd be virtual console in there. Yes. But I, I also, I just never, th- I just, it seemed like a weird time to announce that to yeah. me. Yeah. My, my theory the- is, I reckon maybe in August or so, We'll get a big direct where we learn a little more about Mario and then there'll be a virtual console announcement, an online announcement and, yeah. a, and a teaser of like, oh, hey, and here's the next big thing for 2018. Yeah, maybe it'll be around Splatoon even because that'll be their first big online thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mario Kart, yeah. I guess. But like they've said that it's free until 2018. So they've yeah. got a lot of time before yeah. they kind of need to get out. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I, I read a thing with today. Someone had asked Reggie about it at E3 and him sort of going... Yeah, look, we're aware that there's demand. We're just trying to work out the best way to, to do it and to satisfy everyone and stuff, which, yeah, which seems weird that... I mean, I think it's very easy for us to all think costs. it's just sitting yeah. there ready to go and they've just got to hit the button. Yeah. But it, see, it just seems... It's like, what's to think about? Yeah. People want to give you fucking money for Mario 64. Yeah. The button says, let's a go. <laughs> It, it's just, it does seem straight. Like, the, you have an eShop, just put a bunch of old games on it for, like, a few bucks each. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh. what they've done for ages, though, and I wouldn't buy them, definitely. 
and this new thing they're doing sounds cool, and I do want to hear more about it. But I get that. But the new I thing is like it's going to be in parallel with a yeah, bunch of old games on for yeah five bucks each. Yeah, I I I think what they're trying to do is work out yeah how they're going to – what the balance is going to be between this paid online thing yep. and the virtual console. Well, and yeah. you know what's weird is like the way that those like NES games and stuff used to be priced on like the Wii U and whatever, they were pretty expensive. For what they are, yeah. Because yeah. if you think about that NES mini thing, that was 100 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And you got 30. And you got 30 of them. Yeah. yeah. So if they're – and I guess they were about $3 each. My yeah. theory That's would too be, much still though to, mm. to My me. theory would be the online thing will be Netflixy style for – Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Yeah. And then everything past that will be paid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that okay. will be that its own separate thing. 64, yeah. and they'll announce ga- GameCube and 64 will be you pay 10 bucks per those games. Yeah. And then yeah. that old library, they'll just go, fuck it. It's been around for ages. We've we've gotten enough money for single games out of them. Yeah, Let's make right. that the. Who, who knows? Yeah. Well, that's for another time. And I get why they didn't want to clutter up their message with that. Yeah, I just think they also don't one hundred percent know. And Probably it's not. And it's an E three is not the time to be going. Hey, we're finally going to charge you again. Yeah, for, you yeah. Know, and I mean, like well, honestly, going into E three, what Virtual Console was one of my big things I wanted to hear about. Yeah. Coming out of that Nintendo presentation, I'd forgotten about it because I yeah. was like, oh, this all looks great. The way yeah. Nintendo's been for the last what, like nine months as well, with their sort of very specific slow but regular trickle of information yeah i've started to become a bit more accustomed to and kind of like yes well this is the thing i mean it's easy to sit at the start of the year and go what the fuck are they doing but now that you're in the middle of it and you can sort of see it for what it is which is the larger plan and isn't and you know it's easy for us to go well i want everything now i want to play this right now why isn't this coming out but you got to remember yeah they're a business and so everything is based around and i think what they've been trying to do this year is like yeah, tell and to show people who potentially got burnt by the Wii U or didn't go in on the Wii U because of this. Hey, there's a there's a stream of games. Yeah, like yep. there's a, like this month, this it, it this ab- year there will have been a, a a great title once a month for Roughly, the whole year. Yeah, uh, and like it appears to have worked. Yeah, yes, because totally. people are into it. So yeah, I'm know. not as, as I'm not a skeptic anymore. I'm like, yeah, cool, do what you want to do. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'm I'll gonna have to get one soon. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it was. It was. I kept remembering things in the in the trailer that, like, in the presentation that, y- yeah, I was like just thinking about Mario and then going, oh yeah, fuck, we get that Zelda DLC in two weeks. That's yeah. great. Like, what that's you thinking really about, cool. honey? Just think about Mario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that guy a human or is he like something else? Why does he look so different to all of them? Why, if he's in a human city and the people look like people, why does he look like a little dwarf man? What a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Tommy, by the way. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? What if Tommy? Real. Wife. Wife. Mm. Mm. One of life's great What if questions. Mario Farmer wants a wife? How long has this gone for? A long We've time. Done a long Yeah, almost here. three hours. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm late to pick up my baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we got to wrap it up for here, guys. Uh, that has been a hell of an episode. Thank you for listening. Uh, let us know what you liked out of E3, what you're yeah. most excited about. Um, yeah, we'll be back next week. God knows what we're going to talk about. <laughs> um, <laughs> E4! <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, yeah, as always, oh, we, our uh, most recent Bandcamp episode yeah. went up a couple of days ago. Uh, the 10 games to play before you die. Yep. Really fun to record that one. Um, that is on. Oh, you got to do it for me. Filthycasualspod.bandcamp.com, and it is. Uh, it's already going like bananas. People Great. are people are loving it. And, Great, uh, they're going ape for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, fuck. What was the shit one Tommy said? I forget. <laughs> um, they enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, guys, yeah, get us up on the socials. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Send us an email, filthycasuals.podcast. Yep. No. <laughs> Fuck. Filthycasuals.pod. Yeah. At gmail.com. Uh, thanks very much for listening. And as we say at the end here of every episode of Filthy Casuals. That's C3, baby. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't be less happy with how that one went. <laughs>